uh, could, uh, was there. I remember who is Lothar Schmidt was uh, the chairman at the time, <coughs> four or five people there. So I'm quite happy that uh, to find many people who has a great interest in chess history and also uh, on chess of uh, uh, regarding the history of FIDE. Uh, I would like also uh, to congratulate the three ladies that we have with us, uh, Paulina, well known, uh, Ilara, who will take care of this uh, award, uh, Gligorich Award, and uh, the lady next to Jean-Michel. Uh, 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 from Spain, yes. <laughs> um, so this is, uh, I send you an agenda. Um, uh, we have two hours uh, to, to fix it, uh, to discuss uh, the debate. And uh, uh, there will be also at the end of three talks when if any one of you wish to discuss uh, any topics uh, related to chess history or related to uh, feeding, it's mostly uh, welcome. Uh, we'll start the meeting. I will give the floor to the president, uh, uh, Arkady, who will give a few words, uh, Mr. President. Yes, thank you. Thank you for gathering uh, today. You are uh, basically uh, opening the official agenda of uh, FIDE Congress, uh, FIDE Online Congress, first ever uh, in this uh, format. Uh, so the meeting of the Historical Committee uh, is uh, first in the schedule, uh, and we will have a very intensive one uh, for the next uh, few days uh, until the end of the week. Uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, your work uh, is uh, crucial uh, to start um, uh, an intensive preparation uh, for um, the uh, next four-year uh, uh, period uh, that will uh, end with 100-year anniversary of uh, FIDE, of course. Uh, uh, I know that you have already discussed uh, many items uh, that uh, can be uh, can serve. Uh, as elements uh, of uh, celebrating uh, 100 year anniversary, but more importantly, celebrating uh, uh, a great history of chess itself rather than FIDE. Uh, and uh, we all know that uh, uh, chess uh, is uh, changing uh, its face a little bit uh, with the online uh, uh, gaming, online playing now, and uh, with uh, uh, some of the um, uh, top uh, uh, rated movies already coming to the market, uh, like Queen's Gambit uh, this, this time. Uh, 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 we should use this momentum, of course. Uh, it doesn't mean that we should concentrate all on just uh, like watching this movie uh, and uh, promoting it, uh, but we should use uh, momentum uh, and uh, uh, use uh, all uh, options that uh, uh, are opening now in the market uh, to uh, uh, to give people uh, more knowledge uh, uh, in the right form uh, the, uh, about chess history, about chess players, uh, about chess itself, uh, and um, uh, about um, uh, about uh, the people who uh, are uh, the role models uh, in chess, uh, both. Uh, uh, historically and now and hopefully uh, in the future. Uh, so we should uh, discuss the right uh, tools, the right forms, uh, uh, including uh, uh, movies, including uh, internet, including museums, uh, books, of course. Uh, and I saw uh, quite a few proposals already regarding uh, uh, both movies and books and museums uh, uh, as well. We discussed some of those. Uh, so I rely on you uh, to uh, produce uh, the list of uh, uh, options, the menu of uh, possibilities uh, uh, that uh, we can choose from. Um, of course, we, we should always uh, compare uh, uh, benefits and costs. Uh, nothing is for free here. So we will have to uh, find uh, resources to produce uh, uh, assets that will be attractive. Uh, for a uh, broader chess audience rather than just the chess professionals. Uh, but I would welcome uh, any uh, uh, any uh, interesting ideas here since uh, uh, we can find a way to sell things. Uh, uh, but uh, to, anyway, to sell things, those things should, be, should have a clear audience. Uh, if we are talking about, uh, for instance, research books, uh, we are talking about uh, chess... Uh, 
uh, professionals uh, or uh, those people who uh, love chess or those people who want to use chess as a tool for uh, education or for public policies. If you are talking about uh, uh, books that can serve as presents to people, then we are talking about corporate market, about CEOs and uh, others. If you are talking about movies, uh, we should think about uh, uh, multi-million audiences uh, uh, that either like or don't like things. They can uh, switch from one channel uh, to another very quickly. So we should find the right uh, thing to show, uh, not a thing that we would like only. Uh, but uh, a thing that uh, other people uh, uh, potentially uh, would be willing to uh, to see. Uh, and uh, those things should be, again, in the right uh, form. Uh, uh, a movie uh, that is uh, lasting three hours without uh, uh, interruptions uh, is a nice thing for, for chess players who can sit seven hours at the board. But... Uh, I'm not sure about the broader chess audience. They would love probably eight uh, series, uh, 20 minutes each uh, that will uh, cover uh, the 100 year history uh, better than uh, three hours uh, movie without, uh, without intermissions. Uh, so uh, uh, hopefully we will discuss those things. But another thing uh, that is uh, important for this Congress uh, is uh, uh, to discuss the proposals regarding uh, honorary titles. Uh, and uh, all kinds of honorary awards. I'm not a big fan of uh, giving uh, too many titles and too many awards, uh, honestly speaking. Uh, I know that Willy proposed quite a few uh, with uh, uh, his colleagues uh, who are the members of uh, the selection committee. Uh, my personal preference would be to have just one or two uh, and uh, to prepare uh, uh, a good list for uh, the General Assembly that we will have next year, uh, hopefully physically in uh, Hantemansi East in Russia anyway, uh, uh, rather than to speed up with awarding uh, uh, a dozen of titles immediately uh, this year. But please think about this. I'm not insisting on that. Uh, if, you will be, if you will have a consensus about uh, uh, giving those honorary titles to more uh, people, uh, and uh, more institutions, um, uh, we will discuss these recommendations at the council meeting and then uh, at the General Assembly. So uh, that's just my, uh, my personal opinion. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, when I see uh, Boris Spassky on the list, uh, I will certainly uh, vote for uh, his, uh, his name on this list. Uh, but uh, do we have uh, other people uh, comparable to his name uh, in the list? Uh, uh, since he is a world champion and uh, did uh, a huge, uh, made, made a huge, huge contribution to chess. So uh, there should be uh, like a list that will, uh, will uh, make people feeling good about uh, uh, voting for everyone uh, uh, in, this, in this list. So please just think about, uh, about that. Uh, um, I will not take at this point more of your time, uh, uh, but I will spend uh, a few more minutes uh, uh, participating in this meeting, but I would like to hear your voices, uh, your proposals, your opinions. Uh, so, uh, please. William. Edouard. A microphone. Edouard. Yes, yes, yes. And... Um, could you please really uh, show the presentation or should I do that? I can share my screen. Uh, ju just a second, uh, the presidents maybe ask some questions. If there are some ones who would like to, to answer to this question, uh, your you, uh, uh, presentation will co come in very short when we reach. Uh... Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Edouard, your microphone. A microphone, you have to open your microphone. Edouard, Mike. На значок нажмите микрофона, Эдуард. На значок микрофона. Или ты стала легкий, да? Окей, so uh, just uh, to complete what the president has said, so Fide since uh, two years. I start many new, uh, let's say, uh, projects and, and also uh, many new uh, 
uh, way to uh, uh, to talk to the people, to present itself, and so on. And uh, what two of them, it's for instance, uh, in General Assembly, we don't use paper. But here, for historical point of view, we have uh, also uh, show we're showing a, a small video clips. We believe that image is better than than. Uh, uh, um, uh, just a list of names. So I would like to show you, for instance, the video clips that we're showing at, uh, at the start of every General Assembly to, to uh, honor the people who passed away. So if uh, uh, the people from Melissa can show the clips, uh, it takes uh, one, two minutes, but uh, you will see the clips that, uh, video clips that we're going to present uh, 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 in the next uh, few days at the General Assembly. Hello, Boris. Gena, can you show the clips, please? No? Yes, why not? Uh, Willy, do you hear me? Ah, yeah, yeah. OK, you, you can go on. Yeah, Mr. President is here. Yeah, yeah, he's there. OK. Uh, several words Mr. President told about phenomenal opportunity. See the I guess have phenomenal opportunity. Fide president and his team have it an historical opportunity. It's never known as before. And it's maybe it's time, it's, it's real time. This is going to be a documentary film about the history of chess, including the influential and historical chess figures and have and have left a huge mark in the world of chess, including remarkable tournaments and matches. This documentary will, in in sense, be a memorial for the great game this in chess, and will bring together millions of chess fans around the world. I know Mr. President is love soccer football. And look, several days ago passed away phenomenal, phenomenal soccer player, Diego Maradona from Argentina. And all world, millions and millions and millions fans watch documentary movie about this unique, unique uh, soccer player. If, if this movie about chess history, about phenomenal chess players, about historical person in chess, about all big chess tournaments will create and president and his team will provide this. It will be memory for many, many years in the future because for now, young generation who is today 20, 25 year old, they have not any idea what was what was in chess 100 years ago? I not say about 200 years ago. One example, I sit in uh, aeroplane and fly to Saudi Arabia and uh, on a world championate, blitz and rapid. Near me sit grandmaster from one of European country, young gentleman, and he is champion of his country. I, uh, was obviously to conversation with him about chess, about history, and I asked him, do you know name Vera Menchik? He told me, who is it? Who is this person? And this guy is grandmaster and champion of one of European country. You know how it's important for everyone in the future and uh, for any, not, not just fans, it's also many professional people will, will watch this movie if it's will, if it's will real and, and, and great movie. Like we today, if you want to know about uh, uh, American Civil War, what was many years ago, we know what movie we want, want to, to see. If we want to see about Mafia in the United States. We know Godfather, the best movie. And after 100 years ago, always people will take example of this movie. 
And I asked Mr. President, you and your team can do it absolutely phenomenal something for FIDE and for future of FIDE. This is your chance. This is your team chance. And uh, also, historical committee or historical commission may be one of the important in FIDE because without past have not future. It is absolutely clear. And today, young generation, they have not any idea what was in, what was in the chess history. And you and your team have phenomenal chance to organize, organize this uh, heritage. And uh, the many unique people who passed away, the world champions and many great people in history. And today around you, virtual sit several historical person. Right now in this meeting, several person who, who live in this century, in this gold century for chess, last hundred years. And this is all what I want to say. Historical committee have same chance what other commission. And I absolutely not understand why this com committee or commission not in sight, not in list, not in official, in FIDE list. After this commission is, is approved, why? Who could not do this? Why 16 uh, commissions stay in the list FIDE official and this commission have not, have not nothing uh, official status? And uh, to be honest with you, I even don't know who is member of this commission. Really, I ask not president, it's probably you, will organize this commission and give to everyone to what they can do. Every every member can help to, to provide this <laughs> idea what President told right now. That's it what I want to say. Thank you, Edouard. Mr. President, you, you want to answer or shall I answer? Well, I, I fully agree about the historical chance and uh, about uh, uh, absolute uh, necessity to use this uh, chance uh, uh, right now uh, regarding committees, commi committees, commissions, working groups uh, uh, and other formats. Uh, uh, maybe I work too long in the, uh, in the government. Uh, uh, I'm so skeptical about uh, any of those forms. Uh, uh, when we uh, see any subject, any problem, we immediately create a commission, a committee, uh, or a working group uh, to work on that. Uh, it doesn't mean that we achieve uh, any result, but it's good to have a commission. Uh, so uh, I think the most important thing is to achieve the result uh, is, uh, and uh, uh, to uh, have this project running and uh, have uh, a, a huge contribution to, uh, uh, to chess by, uh, by, uh, by uh, making the history of chess uh, uh, Mm, available and accessible to all uh, people, including those young grandmasters who do not, do not know uh, anything about um, uh, chess uh, history, rather than being a part of any commission. <laughs> uh, so even if, the, if this group uh, will meet uh, on the basis of uh, voluntary uh, will uh, and will uh, uh, le leading it, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's better to formalize things. When things are being formalized, uh, that means that uh, you will have many restrictions, how to work, uh, how to report, uh, how to do things. If it is not formalized, uh, you can work on a uh, much more flexible basis uh, and uh, get together in any combination you want to get without formal voting, uh, uh, without formal reporting. Uh, so mm, please discuss this. Uh, uh, again, uh, uh, we already have many commissions, some of them. Some of those commissions are working really well. Some uh, require some improvements. Uh, so I'm not against the new commissions, but uh, I just don't believe it's the most important thing uh, to, to, to provide the best quality work. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just to complete uh, your answer, uh, since Edouard was asking who, who are the members, uh, Mr. Bundo, uh, Mr. Filipovic, uh, Mr. Beric Vargabeev, and myself. That's uh, the people who meet uh, time to time to discuss uh, 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 all these uh, questions related to the, the commissions. Uh, I would like to give the floor to Ulrich, who's waiting uh, to speak. Ulrich? Yeah, thank you. 
Uh, I just uh, just just a brief uh, state, very brief statement. I think uh, Mr. President, um, in his first address, said something very important. Everything, everything we propose or we all the ideas we we might uh, forward must um, immediately take into account who would be the audience. You know, this is this is the decisive point. Uh, who would be the reader of a book? If we make a book, who do we want to read that book? You know, and according to the audience, we have to find the format. If we do a film, a documentary, what could be the subject and who, who would be interested in this subject? Is it a film for chess players? Is it a film for the greater, greater public, for the wider audience? Uh, for whom do we do this? Or if we do an exhibition, who would be the audience? This is always, this is the decisive point we always have to think about. Uh, who are we, who do we want to, to see this? To read a book, to see a movie, to, uh, to visit an exhibition, uh, to go uh, see a conference or a uh, simultaneous uh, chess match or whatever. Who would be the interested audience, the potential interested audience? And for this, um, we have to define practically our the different audiences we can address and for every kind of audience choose the right tool and the right uh, media uh, to address these people thanks thank you uh, anyone for the president or we go to the next topics really yeah I'm sorry, a few additional words about who will watch this documentary movie if it will, if it will be really interesting movie. You have address, sit right now here yeah. on this chair in my wonderful home, sweet home in Boston in USA. And I'm sure millions people like me will be very happy to watch if it's movie will on the top of level, not just not just movie like movie. It's it's they have phenomenal opportunity to create this movie and all keys in hands for to do it. This also on the last meeting we spoke about museum. Why United States have phenomenal Hall of Fame, World Chess Hall of Fame, and United States World. Uh, Hall of Fame. FIDE also can have same museum. For example, in Moscow, why not? Moscow have all opportunity to have. You even don't know how, how many fans like chess in, in all world. If you have take 100 oh. years, chess was popular in maybe 10 or 20 countries. Today, almost 200 countries, almost 200 countries have, not just chess players, also chess fans. And obviously any good movie or phenomenal museum will have phenomenal, will be popular and my, many, 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 many people will, will be very uh, happy to, to watch this. Uh, this is answer for question for who this movie, for everyone, for professional player, for regular player, for any uh, thousand uh, million people who like chess, who can any any day virtual come to this movie and, and, and watch this movie on computer, on a, on a TV, same museum, today opportunities. You sit in your home, it does not matter where you live, in Africa, in New Zealand, in Australia, in Europe, and in, in America, you will be, you, FIDE can do this for, for everyone. I'm in chess 56 years. And chess, like Bobby Fischer say, you remember time when he said chess is life. And I'm little man who say chess is my life. And God gave me this opportunity to like this game, to love this game, to be inside in this game all my life. And you even don't know how many people like this game and, and they will be very happy to participate like people who like this, 
who love to watch movie, who love who love to go to to watch in museum any opportunities what they will have. Yes, thank you for your very emotional word. Um, uh, just to answer one of your questions about the movie, we have here uh, Beric, and we have an items uh, related to the 24th uh, anniversary. And Beric will explain uh, to all of us uh, uh, what is the project uh, about. So just wait a couple of yeah. minutes to reach uh, that point. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, I just want to see if Alista is ready to, to show this uh, clip uh, regarding the uh, obituary of 20. Yeah, we are ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Just to will, show you, this is a new... Will, 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 uh, is it possible is it to reduce uh, the speed a little bit uh, or to put uh, it one by one rather than two on the page? Since uh, if you want people really to read the names, uh, since yeah. not everyone, uh, even yeah, yeah. they're talking about delegates, no, uh, knows everyone. So uh, you should either, uh, have it a bit slower or put uh, one one... Okay. Um, one picture per screen. Yeah, thank you. We will do. Uh, just to show you that uh, image sometimes has a much bigger impact than uh, just uh, mention the name uh, on microphone. And, and I'm very glad that Fidi uh, has considered to, to, to use this, this way to present to people. And uh, let's hope that uh, uh, history will have a much bigger uh, also part of uh, Fidi and life. Uh, I would like to go now to the first um, uh, item of the agenda, uh, which is the uh, honorary title uh, regulations. Uh, is Mr. Abundo there? Can he speak? Tati? No? Okay. If Elisa can display the paper. Uh, as uh, I'm here. I'm here really, but uh, ah. my hands are not free. I'm in, I'm in the clinic. Ah, okay, sorry. I hope that you, you feel well. Uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, the idea of, uh, of uh, this, this uh, committee, it's also to uh, 
let's say, uh, try to find some criteria uh, to give a, a title in FIDE. Um, I'm not too sure that in the past uh, uh, FIDE has this kind of uh, uh, criteria. It was much more uh, given uh, by, let's say, personal connections or, or with, of course, uh, uh, some uh, reasons. But here we really try uh, to give. So here you can see, uh, let's say, what we have, uh, the numbers that we have. Uh, we have a few titles in FIDE, honorary member, life member, most estimate friend of FIDE. And then uh, uh, that start actually from 1927. Our life member was stopped in 72. Uh, but then uh, there is, during uh, uh, Kirsten's time, uh, more, uh, in Campo and Kirsten's time, more uh, uh, title were created. Uh, uh, the committee decided that uh, uh, we will stick mostly to uh, um, uh, three uh, categories, which is uh, uh, honorary member, uh, life member, and most estimate friend to feed uh, If you can go down a little bit. Yeah, more, thank you. Uh, so we give the criteria of uh, uh, president, of course, honorary president should be uh, the former president, uh, but number two, honorary member, uh, we decide uh, for some reasons to give, uh, as you can see, A, B, C, D, some reasons why those people, uh, servant or officer uh, of FIDE should get, uh, let's say, uh, uh, at least should be nominee, uh, a nominee to get uh, the title. Uh, the difference with a life member is that uh, we don't speak about a field officer. We speak about any people, uh, any gentlemen or ladies, ladies and gentlemen, who has uh, really uh, uh, done a lot uh, for chess um, uh, in, in his life, her life. And uh, this is why we should uh, there's also a consensus that we, we want to give the title only for the live people. Unfortunately, uh, many uh, uh, have passed away, who probably deserve to be uh, listed, but uh, okay, this is what we have decided. And for the most estimate friend of FIDE, uh, we're talking about uh, organization companies or, or uh, could be also a corporate, was done uh, uh, service to FIDE by sponsoring or by publicize uh, uh, also uh, the games uh, every every year. Uh, the, the committee also has uh, recommend to reestablish uh, the Chess Oscar. As you know, this Chess Oscar, if I remember well, was created by a Spanish company, uh, Court Inglis, uh, Mr. Puig, and uh, it went uh, from, if I remember well, 1987 until 2013, it was disconnected at that time uh, between, uh, I think between 2006 until 13, uh, it moved from Spain to, uh, uh, to Moscow, uh, Alexander Rochal, uh, the uh, uh, chief redactor of 64 was the, the, the gentleman who was in charge, he passed away, unfortunately, and no one uh, um, continued this. So we will certainly uh, uh, recommend few names uh, uh, after, of course, consulting uh, the players and uh, 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 journalists and so on uh, to make really uh, the right uh, decisions. Um, so this is for the title. I would like to show you for, as example, the list that we, we, we will propose this year. Uh, uh, if you can show uh, the second paper, please. Um, the list, uh, uh, the first list of uh, nominees, uh, um, uh, honorary, uh, FIDE honorary member, will be, no list? Okay, will be, uh, uh, we propose three names. Uh, of course, FIDE has no obligations uh, uh, to accept the names, but we believe that those names as uh, huge contributions of uh, uh, chess uh, uh, and to FIDE also. The first nominee uh, was, uh, will be uh, uh, Kurt uh, uh, Ortsmet Singh, who's with us. Uh, the second one uh, will be, um, uh, can you remind me? Uh, because I don't have the list in front of me. Uh, 
the second one will be just a second. Okay. Не получается. Хамид, did you find Hamid really? Sorry. Oui, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamid. Elisa uh, is this. Okay, the second will be Israel Gelfer, uh, who was uh, passed uh, first Congress 1972, uh, passed uh, was vice president, passed vice president, uh, also passed honorary president, uh, and the third one is Amit, uh, uh, is also. Uh, uh, with us, uh, and there's a fourth one which is missing there. Uh, Boris Paski, as the president says, um, uh, certainly deserve. We have also a world champion uh, there, but actually we have only two uh, two women uh, world champion uh, listed as honorary member. And uh, so we're going to propose those four names uh, to the the FIDE Council on Wednesday, on s Friday, sorry. And the uh, FIDE Council will decide uh, one, two, three uh, to be, uh, uh, let's say, awardee uh, at the, the next General Assembly, which will be two days uh, later. For life member. Uh, Is it all okay. no. Sorry? Okay. For life member, uh, we put uh, four names. Uh, the two. The two first names, the first one was uh, uh, Vice President or, or, or General Secretary of FIDE uh, in um, uh, last uh, administrations, 14 to 18. The second one was uh, Zonal President, President of Angola Chess Federations, but both of them, one and two, became uh, President of their National Olympic uh, uh, Committee, and that's fit uh, in the in the criteria uh, of selections. The third one, mm -hmm. uh, as you know, it's a famous uh, grandmaster for, from Argentina. Uh, he was also the, the organizer of the yeah, 2005. Can you close your microphone, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Microphone. Uh, you can do it by yourself, really. Huh? You can close microphone of everybody if you want. Uh, okay. Okay. So I continue. So uh, he was also the organizer of the 2005 uh, Olympic, uh, uh, sorry, uh, World Championship, uh, won by uh, uh, Topolov uh, at the time in uh, in Argentina, uh, Saint Louis. And the fourth one is a gentleman who's living in Gibraltar, and he. He organized, uh, as you know, the festival, uh, chess festival of Gibraltar uh, every year for the last, uh, I think, 15 years, more or less. Uh, he will organize also next year the, the uh, women, uh, FIDE Women Grand Prix. Uh, so we'll ask uh, the council to select one name out of this uh, list of nominees. The third one, which is uh, related to uh, companies. Uh, so this is a bit more difficult uh, 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 to select, but at least the first one is a huge history for, uh, at least as a chess magazine. If I remember well, the first edition was in, in 1882. So we talk about 130, 138 years of uh, uh, publications, uh, more or less without uh, interruptions. And the second one, it's a Russian company who sponsored for many years uh, 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 FIDE tournaments, uh, uh, world, uh, if I remember, Grand Prix, World Championship, they are there with, with very good money. And again, it will be up to the, uh, the council to, to select uh, one person. They may select no one, but this is what uh, uh, I was explaining you, we want to keep these traditions or, or reintroduce these uh, traditions of, of uh, giving uh, title for people who deserve uh, because they work all their, li their life uh, uh, to promote chess or to promote FIDE or both of them. Voilà. Anyone has a question on, on this? Really? Yes, no? Okay, so let's go for the next topics. There's some uh, hour that uh, which is very new and um, uh, was uh, I'm not sure that it was uh, giving uh, away in the past, but uh, sorry, in the past. But uh, uh, now uh, I will ask Ilaha. Uh, 
She's representing also Mayer Mamedov, who's the uh, chairman of uh, uh, that committee to, to give us some, uh, uh, let's say, presentation of, of that award, which was, if I remember well, introduced many years ago uh, by Boris Kutin, who was also with us. Go ahead, Nina. Yes, so uh, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, yes, we might ask ourselves uh, why Svetozar Gligorich uh, Trophy Award. And uh, Willy, could you pass to the next slide, please? Oh, if you want, I can share my screen. Yes, so actually, uh, uh, Svetozar Glikoric, he was uh, one of the prominent uh, top players in the world in 50s and 60s. And he was really an uncompromising fighter at the chessboard, <laughs> but at the same time, he, he was a symbol of gentlemanhood and correctness. And he had a really impeccable, uh, impeccable uh, reputation, uh, and which has been deserved in uh, chess games and fair play manners. Um, uh, so um, it's no coincidence that uh, Gligorich uh, selected games is uh, called "I play, I play against pieces." It's the pieces that I play, not a man. I play against. And what is the spirit of the award? Uh, actually, this award is a recognition of the sportsman who exercise the fundamental values of the fair play, both during and beyond the game. It's a way of thinking, actually, uh, rather than a mere behavior. And it includes uh, such uh, important concepts uh, as fairness, respect, friendship, kinship, equality, care, and tolerance. And uh, in Astana uh, last year, during the first quarter of presidential board, uh, the, the decision uh, was taken to appoint uh, the vice president of FIDE, Marima Mendev, uh, as the chairman for the commission for that award. And uh, he also recruited two more members of the commission, including at least one woman. And those members are Yudit Polgar and Eugenia Tore. And I'm the secretary of uh, this commission. So the nomination criteria is um, outstanding gesture or action of sportsmanship during the sports event, uh, contribution to the popularization of the values and principles of fair play, support to the, to, uh, towards initiatives on enforcement of ethical values and promotion of integrity and high ethical standards. Um, there is a link for the regulation of the award in case uh, anyone is interested. And um, I want just to give a very short presentation to that award. And in the upcoming, um, in the council agenda, there is some proposal by the commission. So uh, considering this year is a special COVID year, uh, our commission would like to make a special uh, online fair play online award. Uh, and uh, the nomination and the candidates uh, shall be submitted before the first quarter of FIDE Council next year. And also, uh, there is uh, this uh, trophy design, which has uh, a very, very uh, um, creative symbols of uh, fair play. It was designed by a, um, a creative agency, so I hope everyone like it. I personally favor it a lot. And uh, interview, that's all to know about Gligorich Award. So actually, uh, we expect it to uh, award um, this trophy during each Olympiad. And but we are, uh, 
waiting for FIDE Council decision in the upcoming FIDE Council. So thank you. Uh, Willy, you are muted. Thank you, Willa. I know that Boris is with us and uh, uh, he was the one who introduced this couple of years ago. Uh, even uh, I remember that the, the uh, cup, uh, however, it was broken. So we replace all this, but I would like to give a few words, uh, ask Boris to give a few words because he was the one to introduce this. And Boris, maybe you can just add something on, on what Hilara has said. Boris? Is Boris there? Go on. No? Boris, if you open your microphone. No, you, you have to press the button. Okay, maybe, okay, Boris will come back. Uh, um, maybe you can jump uh, uh, to the next uh, uh, item, which is related to the Queen's Gambit uh, uh, movie. I put this item, which is not really, uh, 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 we actually, which is something very new and, and uh, has generated a huge impact, uh, at least in Europe. And I'm sure that you are familiar to, uh, for those who are familiar to next, next fix. Uh, as enjoy, uh, like me, to watch uh, this seven episode uh, uh, recently. Uh, the first idea was uh, to um, uh, to uh, to contact uh, the producer uh, Frank uh, uh, Scott, Frank Scott, or, or the actress, um, and maybe to give an award uh, uh, for the special award for uh, the. Uh, uh, really doing something for the uh, promotion of chess uh, around the world. Uh, Fide explained me that uh, at least the marketing director, uh, no, the, uh, the PR director explained me that uh, uh, they are already in contact with the, the producer and, and, and with the actress and uh, uh, likely that she will accept uh, to join one of the top events that uh, hopefully we can organize next year. Uh, as a world championship or, or maybe one uh, Grand Prix or World Cup. Uh, um, I think it's very important. And this way I, I was really uh, uh, interested to, to mention here about this movie. Uh, in Switzerland, for instance, they start to speak about uh, this movie everywhere. So um, uh, on TV, on the news, uh, and I know in many countries, uh, as I, I notice uh, um, on the picture, there's something which is uh, very interesting because you see alcohol and drugs, which is not really uh, compatible with the chess, at least under the IOC rules. But anyway, uh, I hope that many of you has uh, enjoyed this. So I just want to, uh, to give you the news that uh, uh, likely uh, uh, some activities or uh, in the future uh, activities will be probably linked uh, to this movie or at least to the people who has uh, participated to the uh, conceptions of the movie. Uh, hopefully also that uh, much more uh, uh, will come uh, uh, soon, uh, much more for the propaganda of chess uh, uh, around the world. Uh, Boris is there? Yes. Oh, so I, I don't know. So yeah, yeah, I'm we here. can hear you. So uh, my just uh, I would like to to give you the floor uh, for a few minutes, uh, 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 maybe to tell us why you decide to use Gligorich uh, for this award and why. What was the idea at the beginning, uh, a couple of years ago, when uh, you mentioned that uh, uh, you would like to give such award? Yeah, it's very simple. So I am absolutely sure that uh, such player, such personality, deserve uh, deserve uh, the name of uh, such trophy. And uh, I welcome all F 
efforts uh, now which uh, you are doing and uh, that's it so I, I don't want to make any propaganda for my idea because uh, idea was completely different so for such person uh, such a word that's it so I don't need two minutes now for Thank me you, it's, it's very simple I'm Thank you, Boris. Uh, well, okay. let's, let's jump to the next item, uh, which is Fidia and um, Here, okay, we all know the, of means, I hope that all of you know the Fidia and Thames. I would like just uh, Lista to, to play the music for uh, a few seconds for those who doesn't remember. This music was composed in 1951. <laughs> So this music was composed in 1951 by uh, uh, Dalverne, who was the Fide treasurer, Italian Fide treasurer at the time. And uh, the lyric was composed by Marcel Berman, who was the general secretary of Fide at that time. Uh, why I put this, this, uh, 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 let's say these topics here, it's because uh, if you notice that uh, there are some... Okay, let's start. Thank you. Uh, because uh, you see that there's some uh, lyrics and uh, I'm looking for someone to help to make, uh, to find a core and uh, to, to make a record of the music and the lyrics. So if one of you for the next meetings uh, has this kind of connections of a core, of course we pay for, uh, course uh, which can think in French because the wording is in French. Uh, I would be greatly to, uh, to have this contact. Uh, we would like to make a versions with lyrics uh, for certainly for 19, uh, for 2024, where uh, we will discuss or we will organize the 100 years of Philly. So, Beric. Will you send me please the words and uh, I will try it because uh, after our meeting, I'm going to see Mr. Vasily Filipenko, the president of uh, Chess Federation of Libra and uh, then uh, I will discuss with him the possibility to do it uh, during the next uh, uh, General Assembly conference. Okay, okay. I will try to find uh, a better versions, uh, paper version than what uh, the photo show, but uh, uh, yes, thank you. Ulrich. Ulrich, your microphone. Okay, I just, uh, I have a question. I wanted to come back shortly to the, uh, to the previous point uh, uh, ah, concerning sorry. the FIDE awards. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, just, just in short, as far as I see, uh, if you are not a member of FIDE, you cannot be eligible for any award. So if you are not a player in a chess club and not adherent to a federation, you cannot, you are not eligible for such an award. For example, this excludes um, many of the of researchers and collectors, for example, who do who write books about chess or publications about chess and everything. Uh, not even James, uh, Harold James Ruthven Murray, the author of the 1913 Bible about the history of chess, uh, would have been, uh, 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 it would have not been possible to, to award him uh, for his merits about the history of chess. So yeah. I would, I would um, really uh, like you to think about that if there is not a possibility to, uh, um, uh, for uh, to, to, to have candidates that are not already members of chess uh, of, of FIDE, so not chess players um, uh, that do, are not members of a club, because scientists, for example, researchers and and so on, people who collect books, who do uh, do research about chess uh, and publications, do publications, everything, uh, especially in the cultural and historical field, 
about chess, they would certain many of them would not be members of any club or any federation. Yeah, uh, should, should perhaps uh, open up the uh, uh, a little bit the the possibility for for those candidates also. Uh, let, let me answer to you. Uh, by definition, the member of FIDE are federations or chief associations uh, of, or affiliate association. Uh, they're not individual. Uh, I think that uh, what you mentioned, it's certainly a very good idea and can be uh, look at the, as uh, maybe life member uh, uh, awards. Uh, maybe not honorary member, but life member certainly will fit uh, uh, those kind of people, uh, certainly. So that's my answer uh, okay. to your questions. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, Beric, so um, uh, I will I will forward you these uh, documents and hopefully uh, we can get something. I think it will be nice to have uh, one speed with the, with um, uh, words, yeah, lyrics. Uh, if no more questions, I uh, will go again. Uh, we have Ivan. Is Ivan there? Ivan? Really? Yeah. Are you there? Uh, just for your information about the Fidehim. Yeah. The Fidehim was twice as long, but Campo made, it, made me cut it down to half the length. Ah. It repeats. It repeats, and Campo was standing alone. Before he would have to stand through the whole answer, me, so he told me cut it down. So it, it was twice as long before. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Uh, for, uh, uh, I would like to see if uh, the next uh, guest is here. Um, I don't, Ivan, are you here? Yes, really, I am here. Okay, so can we go for? Uh, I would like to now introduce Ivan. Ivan is an IT uh, guy, so a company in Russia, and uh, he's going to talk about this project of uh, chess museum uh, that uh, FIDE presidents would like to create. Uh, it's not yet fixed if we go for uh, itinerant museum or, or virtual museum. Uh, but at least uh, uh, I want to uh, ask Ivan to come here and to uh, explain a little bit uh, the, the, the project uh, before we can ask him a few questions on this. Okay, Ivan, it's for you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I would like to present you today Chess Museum project. Uh, the, the concept of the interactive chess museum is uh, to acquaint and familiarize the mass spectator with the chess and uh, tell uh, about the history of this amazing game through interactive games and interactive entertainment. Uh, the concept of chess or the chess museum is based on uh, games and entertainment, constantly updated interactive content, uh, minimum numbers of service personnel, uh, booking and selling uh, tickets online, um, chess, cafe, cafe and sale of souvenirs, photo and video zones. Uh, the main characteristics of the museum is uh, the total area is uh, 1,000 square meters uh, in which each location of the museum is an amazing interactive show in a single storyline of the museum. Uh, maximum capacity per hour, 600 people in this uh, museum. Uh, each location uh, creates its own unique interactive content with art objects. Uh, in this museum, we have uh, eight unique locations uh, with educational content in a playful way. Uh, the main locations of the museum, uh, they are, first location is uh, named uh, Teleport. Uh, the journey starts here. Hydraulic lift, wall projections and acoustics create the effect of teleportation to the chess planet. During the teleportation, uh, visitors are told about the planet and its history. Uh, the virtual guide demonstrates and uh, introduces visitors to the inhabitants of the planet. 
uh, during teleportation, wall projections react to visitor behavior and the interactive guide uh, in the form of chess robot answers all travelers' questions. Uh, really, next slide, please. Uh -huh. Thanks. And next slide. Teleport. This is images how it can look like. And the next location is the history of chess. Uh, in this location, uh, the museum's digital assist uh, the museum digital assistant acquainted visitors in the origins of the great game and the history of FIDE. Uh, the narration is made of uh, the form of interactive navigation in the location space uh, from one historical milestone to another with ability to interact uh, with the objects of narrative. Uh, design space with a large number of interactive art objects in this location. Um, next slide. Uh, next location is uh, the hall of great events. And this is large interactive hall of the Chess Federation. Uh, the location is framed with holographic images of great chess players. In this location, uh, visitors are given the opportunity to play great games with the chess robots. Robot. Next slide. Mm -hmm. uh, next location is the chess games. Uh, in this location, we pay attention uh, to entertainment for children and adults. Immersive wall-to-floor games, uh, maximum interactive and vivid content, acquaintance with the basic rules of chess. Next slide. This is an example how these games can be looked like. Just example. Mm -hmm. uh, next location is the fantastic lecture hall. Uh, in this location, we introduce museum visitors to the basics uh, of chess in a playful way. Creation of uh, interactive photo video content um, based on the material provided by FIDE and private collectors. Uh, the entire FIDE knowledge base is one immersive space. Uh, using augmented reality glasses, we use, uh, we use augmented reality glasses to create a holographic objects. This is a fantastic uh, le lecture hall. Uh, previous slide, really, please. Uh, I forgot to tell you about uh, location the future has arrived. And uh, previous, previous slide. Uh -huh, future has come, this slide. Uh, in this location, uh, we introduce... Next, next slide. Uh -huh, this, no, no, a little bit. Up. Uh -huh, that's all. Um, the future has arrived. Our, this is our fantasy on theme, what uh, chess can be on other planets of our galaxy. Uh, this is visualization of fantastic chess boards and game pieces. Uh, creation of uh, non-standard -stand game mechanics uh, specific to a particular planet. Uh, interactive interaction and control of uh, chess pieces using uh, gestures on, proje on projection tables. This is uh, a future has come location. Next slide. And uh, next. Uh huh, that's all. Uh, the next location is VR cinema. Uh, visitors are offered uh, com comfortable chairs and VR glasses. Cinema Planet Chess shows uh, educational short films 
about uh, the history of chess and historical chess events. Uh, content cre is created in 360 degrees format. Uh, the ability to integrate rare collections and photographs into video content in this VR cinema. Next slide. Uh, next location is the Hall of Ceremonies. Ceremonies. Uh, this is the final location in the museum uh, in which visitors are invited to be the great, to beat the great ruler of the chess planet, honoring the savior of the world, a unique ceremony uh, of awarding the winner with a personalized cup and photo for the ceremony. The ceremony takes place in a virtual auditorium that welcomes the winners. Salem fanfare sounds the master of ceremonies call the name of the winner. Uh, the audience bursts into applause. Uh, virtual confetti falls. Uh, an original song specially written uh, for this award is played. Uh, which will become a recognizable uh, music hallmark of the chess uh, museum. Uh, modularity is the main idea in organizing the museum space. Uh, the museum can be easily uh, the museum can easily be deployed in uh, any suitable location. Uh, to do this, it's enough to purchase the necessary computer. Uh, and projection equipment. Uh, digital content is uh, created once and multiply across all location in any country. Uh, oh, updating digital content is uh, also occurs remotely. Uh, thank you for your attention. I'm ready to answer your questions. Thank you, Ivan. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe the first questions uh, that people may have in mind is that, okay, uh, who's going to finance this and, and all things. Uh, Ivan, maybe you can say uh, something about that. But before uh, to talk about this, um, uh, this is a project. Uh, of course, it's, it's a project based on existing uh, a museum. Uh, there are a few kind of uh, museums like this uh, around the world. Uh, virtual uh, reality. Uh, there's also a museum on the website. If you go to, uh, uh, let's say, Le Louvre, if you go to uh, to Russia, etc., Hermitage, you have the, another way to present, uh, uh, let's say, uh, things also. Uh, FIDE is interested to make a museum. Uh, it's very difficult to FIDE to get, uh, let's say, object. Uh, from from the past term. Why? It's because FIDE has lost more or less all his archive. And uh, despite that I have here 200 boxes of, of FIDE archive, there's nothing which is uh, uh, prior uh, the 80s. Uh, all the material has been uh, or burned or destroyed or, or in some place that we cannot uh, locate it. There are some places um, uh, in, in the world uh, that uh, we know, uh, Leiden, uh, Den Haag uh, Library, there are some private collector, there's Cleveland, there's uh, uh, some museum in Moscow or in Saint Louis, uh, but it, it's hardly very difficult uh, to get access uh, or to get, uh, let's say, uh, the benefit to use uh, this kind of, uh, of material. They're also in Switzerland, Ulrich as a huge library also. Um, the idea is also, of course, to have all these uh, items, all these books, all these uh, uh, picture, video, and everything in one, one location. So we'll talk a little bit uh, later about the archive, what we have for the moment. But um, the president is willing really to make something big for 24, uh, and something which is not uh, last for a couple of days, but uh, last for uh, uh, many years. Um, uh, Ivan was asked to provide the project. Now there are some discussion to find out if it's the right project or not the right project. Of course, what you see, what you saw there, it's, it's related with other games, not with chess, 
uh, but it just can be certainly very well uh, adapt uh, to this kind of uh, virtuality and uh, uh, a museum or this kind of museum. Uh, Fille will talk, uh, we have still three years to talk about uh, 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 this, these things, but uh, just to show you that we are already uh, starting process, uh, uh, we have already, uh, uh, we try to get uh, some ideas before we take uh, decisions and we try also to already to, to look for uh, sponsorship. Uh, Ivan, you still there? Maybe uh, you can tell me that uh, this kind of project, which is over than two millions of, of dollars, has already a good interest uh, uh, from potential sponsor. Is it? Really, to my opinion, uh, the interactive museum is the best way to uh, popularize uh, the chess games. It's a very popular uh, kind of museums. Uh, it's very um, uh, it's very interesting for children and the uh, no, and adults. Mm -hmm. So, but but uh, uh, you, do you believe that uh, interest uh, uh, will be there? Not interest. Okay, there are two kind of interest. Interest for the people to visit the museum, and and I guess that uh, this museum, uh, being uh, uh, let's say. Uh, in Norway, will be may maybe uh, less uh, interested for investor than if this museum will be in Moscow, in London, or in New York. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and really, we are ready to invest invest at least uh, fifty percent uh, of the total project cost in this project. Mm. Thank you. I saw uh, uh, Alan first. Uh, Alan, you open your microphone, please. Uh, thank you, Willie. I just had a question for Ivan because I thought I heard him say that, um, Ivan, were you suggesting that other countries could um, uh, piggyback off the museum by just acquiring the projection equipment and computer stuff so that it, it would be possible to sort of virtually transport the virtual museum to another country? Yes, yeah. it's very easy. You need to, you, all you need is a private uh, or a co location. Uh, right, because really one of the things that um, um, I think this may offer is um, the ability um, to sort of take the museum around the world. Um, and certainly have it at major events like an Olympiad, et cetera, where you know you're going to have um, a, a big following, et cetera. So I'm very interested in, in, in seeing how this one um, progresses. I think it's a, it's a really important way to, to capture the imagination of the, the coming generation who are very graphic and their attention span is mm -hmm. correct. like milli milliseconds. <laughs> <laughs> correct, yeah, correct. It, it, it was very important for me that uh, 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 such a project will be uh, visible everywhere, not, not only in one city. So uh, if, if we go in this, this, this kind, this, this way of a museum, Certainly, we look for itinerant that uh, when we have a world championship next year in Dubai, the museum should be in Dubai. When in two years, Olympiad will be in Budapest, the uh, museum should be in Budapest. And if in Barbados, you will you wish to have the museum just for the exhibitions of a couple of weeks, we'll be able to move this museum uh, uh, to, to Barbados. Yeah, that's very important. Uh, we, we, really, really, we create uh, digital content and uh, it can easily be deployed in any suitable location. Yeah, yeah. All you need is the, the computer equipment. That's all. Beric, you, you want to say something? Beric? How much it costs to create? What is the budget, Ivan? Uh, the budget? How much is co it cost? Very, we cannot hear very well. We cannot hear you very well. How much it cost to create? How much it cost to create? For one year. We cannot hear you too well, Beric. 
But okay, I guess Beric wants to know uh, what could be the budget uh, for this kind of uh, uh, project. Uh, the budget could be about two or three million US dollar. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me if you have any? Uh, uh, I think you were involved uh, in some museum uh, uh, activities in the past, or you had connections. Which is, which, if we talk about the Hermitage in in, uh, uh, in uh, Saint Petersburg, uh, which kind of uh, budget is this? Or Le Louvre, or all this kind of thing? I don't know. I can't say uh, this information. I don't know. No. no. We participated uh, in Russian Railways, uh, Russian Railways Museum, digital museum. Uh, I can say this budget also. Yeah. Okay. Any other question, please? Uh, Ulrich. Yes. Mm -hmm. I um uh, one question. Uh, no, this is just uh, just to point. Uh, so if if I if I understand correctly. Um, this is about a real museum. You, you need a real space. It's not yeah. just on the internet. No. Not the just real. on a computer, but a real space. It, it's a real space. Equipped, uh, with, the, equipped with, the, with the interactive... Uh, Projectors <laughs> and computer, that's all. Um, uh, one, what would, be, what would your, be your estimate concerning the... Um, the um, the follow up of uh, of such a thing so you have a budget to 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 create it of course but then to to keep it to keep it running and to keep it update you have to up make regular updates also of the of the contents and so on so this has also a, a cost of course an annual mm -hmm. cost and what what do you what do you think um, so you okay there there's an interest fee to pay and everything okay that's that's, that's okay but there's an, an annual cost to keep the thing running, you know. Um, yeah, the, the question is that, okay, you have a cost for, uh, let's say, create the museum. And what about the cost uh, to run the museum? Yes. This is a total cost to create and run the museum. Uh, it contains uh, for two months of uh, budget uh, of uh, working on this museum. And after, after that, uh, we uh, sell tickets, uh, sell souvenirs, and uh, the museum is, uh, the museum earn money. Okay. So, uh, I, 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 I should mention that Ulrich is himself uh, a CEO of uh, a game museum nearby Montreux. Uh, game including chess and all kind of uh, uh, games. Uh, really, if you want to present a little bit, uh, uh, let's say just, uh, we are we are a, a, a real, a, a quite a normal, a really normal museum. You know, in a in a little chateau in a little, little castle. Where objects are exhibited, it is not not at all a virtual museum, something like that. It's a kind of an old-fashioned uh, museum, but we are working on a complete renovation of the museum in the next years. It's a museum about the history, cultural history of games, of course, including chess also, but all, all kinds all kinds of games. Um, I have a, 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 the the next point would be, of course, where does the content come from? Maybe this this I have to answer because okay he's the IT guys he's not really the the chess guys yes. but uh, content will be to find out uh, to be find out uh, on the world as I explained we know some places uh, uh, where content related to chess and fide are, are located but uh, it will take some time uh, to go with a special video camera or, or, or cameras. Uh, to ask the people maybe to 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 get it uh, for 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 a while. Uh, we have to find out the content. I explained that uh, Fidi unfortunately doesn't have too much, mm -hmm. uh, and and we have to go. We know the place where they are, and there are so, so probably many a lot of places that we don't know also where we can find. But but I think that Fidi will use. Uh, its uh, network uh, at some stage and to publicize and try to get uh, uh, yeah. I think someone is talking uh, I'm not sure whom but uh, we have also Dmitri here uh, from Moscow uh, 
uh, is the uh, director yes, of the here. museum. Yes, I'm here. Nice to meet you all. Yes, maybe you can say a little bit about uh, maybe your museum. Uh, the main problem uh, we have with the museum is, of course, the contact. You are totally correct. Because when one says about the virtual museum, that's perfect. But it has to be based on a big collection of items you have in your museum. When you create the virtual museum of Hermitage, you have Hermitage. When you create the virtual museum of Louvre, you have Louvre. When you create a virtual museum of Russian railways, you have a museum of Russian railways. It's a perfect museum with St. Petersburg. If you create a virtual museum of FIDE, I have a question. Where is the content? It's not a virtual museum uh, with a, some kind of content. It's an interactive museum. We create yes. idea, we create uh, we create images, we, we create uh, you, something yes, for you. I understand. Uh, when you create images, where do you get them from? So if you say we'll get them from internet, it will be not interesting for people. People no. can use internet. So you have to find some objects, I mean, video, pictures, photos, archive documents, and so on from somewhere. Yeah, it's a very important thing. Absolutely. That's why what I'm speaking about, I am both hands for such museum. But what we have to start from is what uh, Willie already told. We have to create a FIDE archive in very wide uh, sense of this world. I mean, we have two cores of FIDE archive. First, everything we can find and keep in wide place connected with FIDE history. I mean, photos, videos, documents, and so on. And the second part of this core should be what we cannot keep in one place because it's from private collections or maybe it's from uh, people who doesn't want to share by some reasons, but they can give us a copies. It's very important thing. We can to create as much copies of pictures, films and documents we have. Uh, uh, it looks that he lost connections. Unfortunately, but okay, we, we understood that uh, uh, what Dimitri wants to say that, uh, okay, we need to find where are the, the archive for, and, and Dimitri, you are back? Yeah. Yes, I'm back. Yes, I, and I, <laughs> I just want to repeat that the most important thing a creating of feed archive in two cores. First, original documents we can create, uh, collect and keep. And the second, a lot of copies all over the world from say, uh, Holland National Archives, Russian National Pictures Archives and Document Archive, United States Archive. Maybe we have some people who knows what we can find in France archives and so on. <clears throat> so maybe the most important thing to create such sort of museum is to create a feed archive. Uh, and uh, we need to discuss it much, much more uh, seriously. Thank you, that's what I wanted to say, but I'm open for, for any questions. Yeah, I, I think also that, uh, okay, you are, uh, I mean, your museum certainly can help uh, the project because uh, I was one uh, with the past possibility to, to visit uh, uh, the place and it's really wonderful uh, uh, the way that uh, uh, it, it has to be done. But, uh, and I know that you have a lot of uh, material from FIDE, from an archive of uh, everything there uh, that we could use. But okay, I guess that uh, you will not be the only provider, but we hope uh, to get uh, uh, access uh, to private collector uh, uh, and, and to get the support of them to, to give us maybe not the original, but at least a way to use uh, uh, their documents or their uh, archive and, and object. Uh, Beric, you, you want to say something else? Willie, really, may I say some words? Andre. Yeah, 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 Andre. But... Andre okay. Andre. So my friends, you know, I think the FIDE as everybody knows, is uh, composed of about 200 federations. And I think it is very important to present all the federation, at least in small area. You know, for instance, the Polish Chess Federation was created in 
April 11, 1926, two years after Fide. And uh, it was eight, 80, 80 anniversary. I prepared all the pictures of famous player, of Polish famous player, and famous visitors like Capablanca, Lasker, Alekhin, and others. I think uh, we have the, the only competition like Chess Olympiad where more than 100 nations are playing in one hall. You know, in never, even in all sport events, you cannot find so many nations in one uh, room, in one big hall. It is very important to introduce all the Olympiads and uh, how they increase the number of participants, the number of countries. You know, I can send to all of you, uh, I prepare on 80th anniversary of the Polish Chess Federation, a lot of pictures. I have about 5,000 pictures in different, from different countries, from FIDE Congresses, uh, Olympiad and so on. And I can give them uh, to see, to be seen in internet or anywhere, any other uh, place. So I think we should remember about this old federation. It is the only uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, organization in the world. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Andre. Beric, you want to say something? No? No? Okay. No. Thank you. Uh, okay. Is there any other questions for uh, Ivan? No? So thank you very much, Ivan. Thank you. Really one question. Yeah. Mr. Horoshilov, and uh, Hello? May maybe I lost. When in, in a, what is your plan when it started to work this phenomenal? project museum when it started we are ready to yeah. start on the next month it is uh, all ready for to start uh, uh it's all ready to create i have a team my team of uh, designers programmers and so on and we are ready to start this project to cre to create to do this project yeah you, you told something about two, three million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. It's only what you need? Mm. Or you have money for to create? I have 50% uh, of money to create, to start to create. Mm. No, I think it's not, not, big, not big deal, not big money to find another 50% for, for this phenomenal project. And uh, this is really a very, very serious fact in, in, in chess history and in chess uh, heritage. What I think many people is shy to speak uh, about this meeting. We, we come to this meeting for to conversation about history, right? About heritage, about the about, uh, future of chess and the uh, museum virtual museum and uh, museum uh, in Moscow, phenomenal museum, and museums in United States and in other countries. It is, uh, it is the best one can do this generation for future. After 100 years, people who will play chess, they have chance to see what was many years ago. And uh, I think this is one of the important things to create documentary movie forever will be and uh, your museums, virtual museums and, and, and real museums who right now stay in, in different countries. And uh, I'm not sure of somebody, we need all this information need, need be, you know, somebody need have this commission or committee like I asked Mr. President, I, I not exactly understand what, what uh, his answer was uh, about this committee. He told this committee need show what you do it. And after this, maybe 
you will come to to, to the list with other with other uh, commission. Anyway, all this information somebody need uh, any idea need create like plan for future and for right way to to have success for this committee or this commission. And uh, also several guests uh, who pre participate now on this meeting. I I'm not here from them nothing. Maybe really will ask other people who, who have some idea who want to say something because you have guests, you have phenomenal guests, you have histo historical person from United States, Mr. Lev Albert, who is really part of chess history. Maybe you can ask him what his proposition about this commission, what he think about this commission, what he can say about this commission. Really, if you hear me, yeah, 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 I'm hearing you. Uh, okay, uh, we will have uh, maybe a topics uh, at the end uh, to come back, but let, let's just follow the, the agenda. Uh, just to, to answer uh, uh, one part of your comments. Um, okay, th this commission is quite new. It's not new, but uh, okay, it was disconnected for maybe 15 years. I, I have... Uh, asked the management board to reintroduce uh, this commission, which was approved uh, uh, last summer. So you see, uh, FIDE wants to see a little bit uh, what we're doing, uh, what we're proposing, if you are active, if I'm the, not the only one uh, uh, involved there. And then I'm, I'm quite sure that next, next year or so, uh, we will be uh, upgraded from committee to commissions uh, with real budget and, and so on. Fide is very kind to uh, to support us for any activities. I'm sure about this. Uh, I express the same thing. What you say uh, early today, uh, you will you will have no future if you don't know your history. I mean, this is something very important. Uh, and what you mentioned about uh, all these young players who know just chess story but nothing about uh, the past champion or the past uh, uh, big tournaments. It's pity, but it's like this, and it's it's a, a duty to educate or to try to educate all the chess world about uh, uh, this huge uh, uh, history about chess and about. Uh, 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 so, uh, since Mr. Albert is there, Miss uh, Lev, maybe you want to say something? Maybe it's just uh, left. Uh, okay, so uh, let's, uh, uh, anyone to say something or to ask uh, Ivan, no? No? Okay. Uh, let's go for the next point. Next point, which is related to FIDE. Okay, you know my the two books that I publish, uh, uh, can you see? Yeah. Uh, that the two books that I published in the last uh, 20 years. Uh, the first, they are all, uh, I mean, uh, sold out, and the third editions will are supposed to come this year, but due to the corona, it will be postponed for uh, uh, the next uh, year. Uh, we have here uh, talking about books. I think Bob, Bob, are you here? Bob sent us a letter. Bob? No, Bob cannot take part. Yes. Yes. Ah. No, no, no. I'm there. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bob, you send us a letter uh, before we go to the letter of Mr. Antunak. You send us a letter uh, with some uh, ideas about uh, uh, your visions, uh, uh, especially for uh, the anniversary of FIDE. Uh, is there a list that can uh, show us the letter, Bob? Uh, I think I sent to all of you anyway. You, uh, can, you may show, show it. Yeah, uh, they, they will. Okay, here we are. Uh, no, that's that's the first letter. It's the second letter. That's from Mr. Uh, yes. Okay. You go on, Bob. Uh, Bob, maybe for the people, uh, can you introduce yourself?
باب باب ايورا سيرفين لا Okay, so we'll take the issue of Bob uh, a, a bit uh, uh, later when he will be back. Uh, could you put uh, maybe the first letter, please? Uh, uh, Goran, uh, you yes. sent us uh, a, a letter, a very interesting letter. Maybe you can give some comments on that. Yes. Uh, hello, everybody. I put uh, my deliberations on, uh, on paper and in written. Uh, I, before uh, talking about uh, the uh, content of the letter, uh, I, I refer to what President said about what's the audience. In my, uh, in my opinion, the audience for such a book on uh, the occasion of Centennial of Fide would be anyhow uh, uh, the chess, uh, chess society, but also the other people will be interested to look for such a book to have, uh, uh, let's say, a context of 100 years of activity. Uh, in, uh, also, I would, uh, like Andre said, it's very important that all federation will be represented in this. And uh, in my opinion, very important uh, is to underline the importance of chess for uh, other professions to fulfill the, uh, the life and uh, of professionals and the people who enjoy chess or for the amateurs set to underline. I see in the Bob's letters that he also uh, mentioned some uh, researches of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, scientists. So I, I put this, uh, here different things. Uh, probably in this book we'll have a problem with uh, uh, the amount of data. So I uh, hope that the people from IT will can help how to how to solve these problems because uh, uh, talking about hundred years and uh, Olympiads uh, uh, re request a lot of space and. Uh, for me, it's very also important that we, if possible, uh, attend 2024, uh, having already registered chess as part of uh, uh, so-called world immaterial human heritage. I, I would uh, like to ask the president to start this, and I'm on disposal for the help, there is a procedure, and I think it's very important to do. All the others, I, I put some thoughts about chess, about uh, uh, big uh, persons from uh, the history who also excelled in other professions like Widmar, Ewe, Botvinnik, Fine, and recently a few uh, grand, American grandmaster, Rogov, and so on. And, uh, well, you can see from the letter what's uh, all uh, all there. And uh, I think that uh, my letter is a good start to uh, uh, to uh, uh, start uh, discussing. Thank you. Thank you, Gohan. Certainly a very interesting uh, uh, document, uh, which uh, let's say the committee will, will will use and take care uh, of uh, your suggestions. Uh, is Bob, uh, yeah? But I'm a, I, I can participate in the discussion now. It is Bob. Ah, okay, Bob. Uh, we're going to display your email and if you can give some comments on this email, please. Yeah, did, did you show the letter? Yeah, we we'll yeah. do. All right. Mm. Voila. Yeah. It's only points from A on and further on. That is the only important thing. <clears throat> uh, my idea is uh, a little bit different about uh, the function of a book. I think uh, it is important that V, FIDE, shows the world <clears throat> how important chess can be for the society not only uh, the inner circle of chess players, 
is very big, of course, it's uh, large, but not enough. We must also convince other people how interesting chess is from uh, several points of view, many points of view, and that there is a long discussion about uh, the interaction between chess and science. Uh, that's not what people know. <clears throat> when we go to a university and ask for access, they don't know where we belong. We are not mathematics, we are, have no uh, theology, we are no um, uh, medical researchers, we are nothing or we are all. And that's the weakness of the position of the chess world into the big world. My idea is that FIDE has the best papers to show the world what chess can be. And therefore we have to show it in detail from philosophy to, uh, you name it, linguistics or and so forth. <clears throat> there are, is a lot published no one has an idea about the whole field of research. That's remarkable. Every time researchers start again from yes. zero because they know, don't know what on different fields and also in their own field has been published or done or which products are um, being used now. So my uh, proposal uh, 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 tries to um, uh, give an accent on what we have to do to show the world how important chess can be. That's uh, in short why I have those ideas uh, in my letter. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, anyone? Uh, uh, really, can I, can I say I fully agree and that was also the intention of my letter to show the world how chess is important, not only for, I, I put just other professions, but it's of course for the human society in general. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Bob, and thank you, uh, uh, Gohan. Uh, just one thing also, uh, it's clear that we have to give, maybe to have some definitions about uh, which kind of books uh, we're going to publish. We have these books, which is these golden books that I publish, which is a kind of uh, uh, statistics and numbers uh, uh, and, and uh, chronology of, uh, of FIDE even during the last uh, uh, 80 years or 90 years. Uh, there are some people who wish to have books really uh, about uh, stories about FIDE. Unfortunately, we don't have too many uh, uh, guys alive uh, from the first uh, 60 years. However, we are still uh, many from the, let's say, the last mm -hmm. 40 years. Um, this is, could be maybe some idea. And, and another idea uh, could be, and I will ask uh, Dimitri, and maybe uh, Elisa, if you can uh, just show the picture of the books of Dimitri. Uh, Dimitri, who is here, um, uh, has written a book uh, uh, about uh, Russian, uh, Soviet and Russian is chess history. The books uh, hopefully will be on the market next year. Uh, uh, Bera, can, can you please display the picture of the book? Uh, Dimitri, tell, tell oh, us a little second. bit about the oh. conceptions of the books and uh, the ID. I will, yes. will show you some sample of page in one second. Uh, the idea of the book uh, uh, was to create a popular history of Russian and Soviet chess. And we used yeah, a, as much pictures as we have, as well as you see to the right, the rare documents from Soviet archives, ex secret documents about Soviet competitions and so on. Here you see the uh, part, Central Party Committee report to the Groningen tournament of 1946, for example. And this is, was the idea for every people who is interested in the history of chess uh, to show all those people uh, the visual part of the Soviet chess history. So it's not exactly the field of golden book. It's not so much uh, pure information. Uh, 
You can see here the short text with some history. You can see here rare archival photos and archival documents and short uh, uh, history, the year 1946, for example. And going from page to page, we have more than 200 pages in this book. You can follow the Soviet history back to 1917 and up to 1991. This is a rare uh, <coughs> placate we restored actually from nothing. And to the right, you can see the most important uh, years in Russian history from 1945. Here you see the uh, Bikova, woman world champion, and so on. So you see not so much text, a lot of pictures, and the <coughs> very easy to use for people who just want to see just history, who have not enough time, as in modern times usual, not enough time to read, but they want to watch. So it's an album, and we are planning to have it in market next year because we wanted to print it before the Moscow Chess Olympiad. Uh, but as we can produce the sort of book of feeder history, 100 feeder history, it would be perfect. Now you see the very rare, uh, you will see Karpov Karchnoy match and pictures from archive when two famous Soviet actors looking at press center and the uh, pictures of the match and so on. Uh, but <coughs> We can to do to produce the same uh, book on feeder history. But what we actually have, as I told already, we can start from the gathering all available materials on feeder history from all possible sources. If Mr. So, oops. I think Bob, I uh, know. Uh, yes. No, Dmitry, you still there? Ah, maybe some problem of connection. Okay, you, you saw this, really, I, I had the pleasure in Moscow when I was last time to see the prototype of this book. Uh, hopefully it will be on the market uh, sometime next year. Uh, ah, Dmitry is there. Uh, uh, Dmitry? Ah, it looks like he has some problem of connection. Uh, so, well, uh, uh, fantastic. I'm, I'm back, sorry, but ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Go just on. want uh, just to finish uh, a couple of words. Again, we need to start with creating a core of documents and photos and movies, and we need thousands and thousands of pictures and artifacts to create such sort of. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm open for any questions. Yeah. Okay, maybe I would like to give the floor maybe. Uh, uh, to some people who didn't May I say something. <laughs> Mr. Linder, uh, could you speak in English, maybe? <coughs> you might, <coughs> you might, uh, on, please. Really? Yeah. Yes. Can I say something about? Yeah, yeah, sure, topic? sure. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I think we we must uh, try to divide the uh, uh, the audiences for which we will make a book. Yeah. That is all also said by many before. <clears throat> we can concentrate on history, but that is just for the chess players, I think. <clears throat> Non-chess players or non-chess player institutes has any interest in the history of chess. It's a pity, but I think it is true. But also a few people have interest in <clears throat> the organization of FIDE. FIDE is there as an organization, but very interesting in itself. It is not for outsiders. The interest uh, story of a big company is also just interesting for the people who are working there or are depending on it, but not for the outside world. I think we can decide to explicitly concentrate and focus on the outside world. Uh, if not, then we have to discuss about the inside world, of course. But it seems uh, sense, uh, sense, uh, have sense for me to make a, a, a split in the discussion. Otherwise, we are uh, uh, continually uh, uh, mixing all those arguments. <clears throat> 
Yeah. Uh, right. Can I say something? Yeah. Yeah. Um. You know, when uh, uh, from the last speaker, I think uh, in terms of widening the 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 aspect of the history of chess, I think that uh, sometimes we underestimate the influence of chess. It's not just the chess players themselves. I mean, I've been playing chess since I was twelve, <laughs> and uh, and. Uh, I know quite a few people who uh, sort of uh, have this mystique of chess, but they want to know a lot. They're not even chess players. Some always ask, oh, we saw your name here. We saw your name there. So I think in terms of chess, we should try and widen. There is a history of uh, the organization FIDE itself. And then there is a, sp there is a spread around the world uh, from the origins of chess. And then there's also the each federation, how it progresses. Some federations have done very well. Let's say they've got an upward trend. Some have, have, have got this cyclic trend. So I think that we should also look at widening uh, our, you know, uh, not necessarily just focusing on one aspect, but looking also at the other angles of chess in, uh, in other parts of the world. What does it mean? And uh, what influence does it have? In addition to also really sort of, um, widening also the knowledge of chess amongst the players, uh, world championships, but also the organization. Yeah, thank you. Really, uh, may I say something? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. I was listening now what uh, Dimitri just said, that uh, we should start, we to tr try to uh, summon all possible documents from all over the world. That's, uh, that should be uh, put okay. as the regal, as okay. the rule, like, uh, uh, and uh, then I, I think that uh, I don't agree completely with Bob that he says that the chess audience is divided to chess players, professionals, or what, however we, we can talk, and the others. I think that uh, in the public opinion, there is a lot of interest for chess. Uh, this Queen's Gambit series just show it. It, 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 it appeared it's not the first, but it, it made... A, a, a huge success, uh, the, the selling of uh, chess uh, sets uh, increased in America for 40% and so on. So I think uh, uh, when we uh, do a book, we do it for the uh, uh, public opinion and also for the chess players. Uh, just to mention one uh, interesting thing, uh, maybe not all the people know, when the chess rubric in the newspapers have been introduced, it was the beginning of 19th century. And the, the, all this I found was one during the American Civil War. And it was just, just a few columns with interesting games from Europe and some, some news, etc. So it's not that uh, maybe we didn't, uh, as feed or as chess uh, community, we didn't do enough to, uh, to push and to make this propaganda. I have to tell also one thing in my business when I come to to new client. Uh, I, I don't speak about my job uh, in insulation. I speak about that I met all uh, world champions uh, after the world war, and that's that's much more interesting, and it uh, helps me a lot in uh, in success. So it's uh, we we must work on that. That's it. But it's, it's more it's more about the contents. It's more about the contents, you know. Uh, if if you think about if you just just think uh, think about um, uh, if you want if you want to make a, a book about football and the history of football, you know, people are interested in football, and maybe they are interested in football players, in great players, in Pele, in Maradona, in Cristiano Ronaldo. But who wants to read a chapter about uh, Mr. Platter? And the FIFA, you know, uh, nobody's interested in the FIFA, uh, but they're interested in football. And, and th there we have to be careful. So if you want to do um, a, a book or something about, about FIDE, I think this should be a separate book. We, we could do two, two books. One, uh, I think it would be a nice book to have all these aspects that uh, Chess is covering with uh, the links with science, with arts, with philosophy, uh, even with politics and everything. Um, but for the general public, I think the history of FIDE in itself is not very interesting. Um, uh, we should keep things uh, separated. 
Uh, I said something really. Uh, I, I uh, accept this argument, but uh, in this book I was referring to and I was proposing, it's not about FIDE, it's a book yes. about chess yes. in the world at the occasion of centennial of FIDE. Okay. And FIDE is organizing. It's, it's She's showing FIDE is pushing chess in front, not FIDE. Yes, that's, that's important. Um. Yeah. I would, uh, we have a gentleman here, uh, Frank, Frank, you just published a, a book about, uh, uh, related to uh, Belgium chess uh, for the 100th anniversary of the Belgium Chess Federation. Uh -huh. Could you tell us uh, something about, uh, or what is your opinion, at least? Frank? No, he's not here. He ah, left. Here. Okay, Herbert, you're also a big expert uh, in chess. Uh, uh, history, <coughs> maybe give us a few words about uh, your opinion here. <laughs> it's difficult. Uh, I'm not decided. Uh, I think the history of FIDE should uh, presented should be presented in in this year 24. <coughs> but uh, it's correct. It's not so interesting for uh, for many people outside of FIDE. I'm not sure. I think we. We should do a brainstorming first. Everybody should write down what he thinks. Uh, you should collect this and then uh, bring a structure in this and then we can discuss. This is my opinion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But, but Willy, Willy, you, yeah. you just asked somebody for the Belgium uh, 100th anniversary. But I see here, uh, Le Quinance is here. And yes. I think he work he work with uh, with this uh, project realization of this book. Maybe you can you can ask him. Yes, something. look, what is oh, the hello, idea everybody. of the book? Hello, everybody. Sorry, my name appears Josie. I don't know why, but okay. Uh, no, I didn't work with Frank. Uh, ah, I think Frank mm -hmm. worked alone on it. But it's so that I know yes. a lot about the Belgian history and and uh, also about the twenties. But uh, do, you, do you have any opinion about, uh, uh, let's say, historical books and how it should be, how it should be the concept and all it? Well, in my opinion, the most beautiful book that was written about history of chess is the one by Anthony Sadi, if you know it. It's called The World of Chess. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful illustrated book that appeared in 1975 um, or 1974. Uh, with beautiful pictures, with histories of all world champions since uh, Philidor, and even the Italian manuscripts, and Rui Lopez were also in the books. Uh, and also many photographs of um, well-known stars, or movie stars, or from the world of art, like Duchamp, or... Man Ray and so on, who worked around chess. So this is, if you don't know the book, you should have a look at it because in my opinion, it's a, it's a really beautiful one. And uh, uh, maybe it, it, could, it would simply need it to be in, uh, updated because it's from the seventies. So it starts with uh, Fisher and uh, the very last chapter is about the candidates of uh, 74. Uh, with uh, Korshnoi and Karpov. Uh, if you would update this book, uh, I think it's a, it's a very beautiful one. Or at least follow the idea. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Lev, you are there now with us. Could you give yes, us a few words? Yes, I'm just trying to say that uh, I'm a publisher and they like the last suggestion. Say this book is great. And uh, I sort of suggest that you use it. You can probably buy rights from Sadie or from his publisher and then update the book. I think it's a great idea. But do you think that FIDE should go for, let's say, uh, for the 100th anniversary, should go for uh, history of chess or history of FIDE? Is history of FIDE something to be sold or, or not? Both. Well, I think that, yes, that probably, I think probably you need like two books. One is book like a gift book or encyclopedia. This is history of FIDE plus, of course, history of chess, of which FIDE is like a culmination. But this book is for friends. It's a gift book. 
you would not sell it in bookstores. But you also can make a book, complementary book, partly based on most interesting materials of the first book, which would be sold in bookstores. And by doing so, you will reach a great audience. So it's simply to, I think this would be really ideal. And this probably can be done. Thank you, but, uh, thank you, Les. Yes, really, uh, I, I, yeah. think, I think that uh, uh, there is more material in chess history than in FIDE history, of course. Yeah. But yeah. when we speak about, uh, about chess history, we can include a chapter of the, the FIDE history in the, in the book of uh, chess history, why not? Mm -hmm. All right. Right. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, Patrick. Yeah. But generally, Centennial of FIDE should uh, should include uh, uh, the automatically the history of chess, using of course all possible books like this one mentioned from of Sadie, which is a very good book, uh, really. But we'll use all materials from them, and then to put it. Because the, the subject is very huge, you can uh, you can think about the influence of chess in art, in uh, in painting, in in movie, in literature. Only yeah. this this subject is uh, very important. Yeah, yeah. And it's a little right. part, a little part yeah. of the story of chess. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Willie, really? yeah, I think uh, the book should show the last hundred years of theater. Uh, and the structure should be important periods in this hundred years. And in these periods, you can show all uh, players, world champions, uh, connections to society, to uh, science, and so on. But the structure should be hundred years, important periods, uh, periods. And, and not, not uh, the old uh, history of chess, uh, maybe a, a small part, but not too much. And chess literature from the last 500 years, this is too much for a book. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the the history anyone? of chess of 500 years is, is too much for any book. Yes. So we, we have to, to find the right dimensions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably will be for movie. We'll talk about in one minute about that. Um, uh, okay, so let's go to the next one, which was uh, uh, FIDE archive. Okay, FIDE has decided at least uh, recently to build some archive. Uh, uh, we managed to collect uh, picture uh, from the 90s, middle 90s, uh, 2000 picture which uh, uh, were used by, by FIDE to illustrate uh, uh, their website. So now we have already uh, many hundreds of or thousands of pictures of a recent time. Uh, uh, I've also uh, personally, uh, I will try to share my screen here. Um, this is from, I have, as you can see, hundreds of hundreds of thousands of, of pictures of FIDE from, from all time. Uh, but all time means uh, uh, more recent than, than, than all time uh, from 84 or, or from uh, even that's actually that's the guys who compose. Uh, uh, can we see? No, we cannot see. Ah. It's excellent. Yeah. A lot. That, that's the guys. Excellent actually, material. That's the guys who compose the uh, Fidi Anthem, the Count Valdarme. Uh, and, and much more recent picture, uh, 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 which were you, you could see the face of Campo here and Macro when he was young. I mean, I have uh, thanks to Mr. Abunda also uh, really thousands of uh, thousands of uh, uh, picture here um, and world championship also much and so on. So we we building this and. Uh, uh, um, Sooner or later, we'll have at least something to talk about and, and to be used, of course, for any uh, project, uh, books, uh, movie, and everything. Now, uh, I'm jumping to the, the, the last one because I think the time is there, more or less, uh, which is related. Uh, really? Yeah. May I ask you, <clears throat> what is um, the conclusion of our discussion about the book? I heard that oh. um, uh, Herbert Bastian. Yeah. did a proposal for yeah. a procedure to 
to that uh, must go to any uh, I, I think decision. that uh, I, I will connect a few of you, uh, let's say uh, early uh, next year in January or so, uh, and then to, to really discuss uh, actively uh, and to put on paper, because this is, this is what you have to do. I mean, we have to put on paper a project. We have to estimate uh, the cost, which is very important if we want to get some money. And we have to go to the uh, 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 council uh, and to the treasurer to sell uh, the project. I have no doubt that uh, FIDE will, will make a, a special book, uh, not my book, uh, uh, for uh, uh, the 24, for the anniversary. Uh, I think we discussed this here, we saw a few ideas, uh, uh, we discussed a few ideas, but uh, uh, what we have to do now is to meet uh, uh, the ones who wish to join, I will send you a letter, we'll have a meeting uh, uh, sometime in January and to do really a uh, start yeah. the project that is on paper, we have only two or three years uh, left, and uh, I, Dimitri, you are still there or not? No, he's not there. But okay, uh, I think this kind of books may take uh, at least uh, one year or more uh, uh, to be written, then yeah. to be edited, and then to be published uh, also. Uh, so uh, uh, certainly we we'll get an email from me uh, uh, in January, as I will ask Mr. Abund also to, uh, to make the minutes of these meetings, at least uh, to have some paper uh, uh, for uh, next meetings and so to remind what we have to achieve uh, here. I'm jumping uh, to the anniversary uh, of FIDE, actually the item, uh, which is of course uh, very important. I had the pleasure to go to, in the last six months, to go to Paris uh, to discuss with few people to see how we could do. We know that uh, the hotels were, uh, were the participant of uh, the tournament, this Olympic tournament uh, uh, was organized or is, sti is still there. Uh, so likely we're going to have certainly a dinner meeting, uh, something very special there. Uh, we're going to have also more than probably a visit to uh, the uh, Père Lachaise Cemetery uh, in, in Paris where Alekin uh, uh, is buried and, and maybe, ah, Montparnasse, sorry, uh, and have some uh, uh, even over there. The problem with Paris in 24 is that uh, uh, Okay, uh, anniversary is on the 20, but on 24, uh, four days later, we'll start the Olympic Games. So we, we will have certainly a big problem uh, to have uh, uh, hotels and all facilities to make something big. And therefore, the big part of this celebration will be moved for uh, October, uh, uh, three months later, where in Budapest, uh, Actually, it should be decided later this week. Budapest is candidate for the organization of the 2024 Olympiad. And, and uh, when I was there, I, I asked the organizer also to take uh, say good consideration to make uh, special activity like exhibitions, like uh, gala, like uh, uh, lecture, uh, and to give us these facilities to organize uh, uh, those activities over there. In this respect also, um, uh, we will have uh, certainly in the coming months uh, special meetings where again we have to uh, establish uh, a program of activities, estimate the cost and, and then uh, uh, to look uh, uh, for sponsoring. Uh, that. The president told me that uh, money is not really a problem, of course, money at the end of the corona, but uh, let's hope that's, that, that's, that's okay. Uh, we just have to have uh, a really a program which could interest uh, uh, FIDE people, the world, uh, we'll use all kinds of media uh, and, and local TV and so on uh, to promote FIDE. And, and that's of course uh, uh, very important. And, and I just need also all your corporations. Uh, uh, it's not a one-man show this. Uh, so I will call a meeting certainly uh, before March only on this uh, subject. There the is or there are already some projects uh, uh, which is uh, which has start. Uh, one of them, uh, or will start uh, very soon. One of them, it's a movie. We were talking about movie. Uh, the question to be decided, do we make a documentary? Do we make, say, a, a, a public movie? Do we make a bio uh, a movie? And I will ask Beric, where is Beric? 
Beric, you are there? Yes, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, so Beric, maybe uh, can you describe us a little bit uh, what, uh, what it is? Okay, I would like to be short, uh, dear colleagues, Please to look at your meeting. Beric, we, we have a problem to listen to, to your voice. It's, it's very low. It's low? No, we cannot hear. <laughs> Can you Not very well. Could you mute yourself, uh, all of you? Because I think we have a problem to listen, Beric. I can hear some. Uh, Thank you. Very good. Try. It's okay now. It's okay now. The, 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 the song is very low. Mr. Replicant, the plan to celebrate this. The plan is the most important point. 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 No, we, we cannot hear. It's better to use headphones. Yeah, can you, do you have headphones? <coughs> Okay, so just to uh, oh, just to uh, is it better? It's okay. No. No. Good. No. Can you use your telephone maybe to call? Uh, yeah, yeah, just, uh, just a second. Hello, Can talk? I'm calling from the telephone. Can you accept me? Voila. Let's go. It's, it's okay now. <laughs> Eric, на компьютере надо выйти. Yeah, you switch, switch, switch off your computer because there's an interference, maybe. There is an echo from two microphones, right? Just leave one. Mm -hmm. It's okay now? No, not really. No, 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 no. Larsen is still alive. It's okay now? Uh, just Hello? about. Really? Are you hearing me? Yeah, but very, very low level. Strange, right? I'm hearing you very well. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. No. Okay, now? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah.
Ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, but uh, we can hear you ten times. <laughs> okay, Beric, I will try to 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 describe. Okay, uh, I will try to describe the, the project of Beric. Maybe he will join us. Uh, Maybe so solution is that Beric leave the, the meeting with computer and only use his, his phone. Yeah, maybe that, that's right. Maybe, but he just left uh, the meeting with his computer. So, uh, I'm here. Uh, can we hear now? Yeah, the quality is not good, but uh, okay, let's try. Yeah. And, uh, Mr. Pippi has already told us about the plans to celebrate this 100 years anniversary of Chile. One of the most important uh, points of the uh, celebration would be to make a documentary about the history of our organization. Uh, some time ago, we discussed uh, this issue with Mr. President, and uh, he suggested that uh, it could be a four part documentary where each series lasts 52 minutes and cover a period of about 25 years. It is clear that the first part would cover a longer period, including the historical part. And the uh, last one would reflect uh, the computer age. On this basis, a preliminary budget was drawn up and the teaser for each series was prepared. The teaser was sent to the president, the members of the historical committee, and they made their correction and additions. But however, life makes its, uh, its own changes. As you know, this uh, year Netflix has produced two sport-related series. If one of them is Queen Gambit, and we have already discussed today, then the last dance series about Michael Jordan, created in the topic uh, genre, uh, was no less successful. In action, actually, now, we are filming a feature film about the kind of touching match in Baltimore. Another film, King's Game, will be released soon. That's why there is a reasonable question. What genre should we stop at? What kind of audience will it reasonable uh, will, <coughs> will be designed for? Where it will be shown? Commercial project or not? It is a commercial project. How would it be monetized? And so on and so forth. And uh, you must also remember that the documentary is the cheapest film in terms of budget. All other genres increase the budget many times over. As you can see, different inflation arise. And only when you get enough. Of uh, the Grand Master's Camp, Yuri Averbach, as well as the former war shaker, Boris Pasky, and the former president, Sergei uh, Olson. And of course, now we need to understand how and when it's best to do this in compliance with all these uh, epidemic standards. Uh, this short presentation is something for your attention and uh, good ahead. Uh, Thank you, Beric. Unfortunately, okay, I don't know about the others, but it was quite difficult to, to listen to you. What I will propose, because what you say is quite important, and since you need also the backup of uh, a member of these commissions, I, uh, maybe we could ask uh, Dainara to just uh, type uh, uh, I'm going now to 
Yeah, basically for, for the, the people who could not hear what Beric says, uh, so he was assigned to, uh, to find some uh, crew and, and to make, uh, uh, let's say, a movie. Uh, but since uh, we are a bit in a hurry uh, to get, let's say, the right people, so they will start immediately to make for interview. Uh, one is uh, Boris Pasky, one is Jure uh, Averbach, um, the other one is uh, 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 Frederick Olafson, Olafson from FIDE president. Uh, and uh, uh, they are not too sure about uh, uh, which kind of concept of movie. Uh, 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 they they will do, uh, and uh, but okay they 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 receive a budget for for it, and uh, uh, the idea of course it's to make a movie about uh, uh, let's say the last one hundred year uh, a connection of chess and chess history. Uh, let's call this modern time, um, and uh, uh, Beric will need let's say uh, input uh, uh, about that. So. As soon when I will get the paper uh, uh, from uh, uh, Beric, uh, I will uh, send it to, to all of you and, and ask you uh, to, to, to make some comments. Uh, it's uh, sent it's sent for you. Yeah, go on. I will send it to you. Ah, you sent to me. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Uh, I will send this to Lista. Maybe they can display uh, Bera. I will send to you in one second. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Ah, not yet. Did you oh. send to my email, Beric? Hotmail? Yeah. Okay, not yet there. It's in the ah, no, send it to Hotmail, please. Where? Hotmail, Hotmail. Hotmail, just a second. Um, so, will you, may I ask something? Yeah. What is your address? Uh, Ikliki at hotmail.com. You must have uh, yeah, titles at fide.com. Titles. Oh, uh, titles at fide.com. There I will put it. Yes, Nick. Um, well, first of all, forgive me. I arrived in the middle of the meeting because I got the time wrong. I'm very it's sorry. Um, have we gone past the archive discussion? Uh, yeah, we, we went uh, just quickly on this point uh, uh, to mention that, uh, first of all, uh, FIDE doesn't have too much. Uh, by the way, I forgot to, to show to you. Uh, we have still a couple of things, and this is, this is one book. And, and uh, uh, we have all the minutes of uh, the 30s. Uh, General Assembly there. I know also that we have a copy of the uh, the first uh, from the 20s, uh, from the 40s, and all the books from the 50s until uh, those days. That's the only archive that we have, some paper and some books uh, uh, about, uh, about it. Um, well, I don't know whether this is the correct moment, but there is more recent information that QC needs on a daily basis. Um, and is this a moment for me to tell you what it is? Uh, maybe let me finish uh, uh, yes. with, uh, if we can finish with Beric, then we can go to your point. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah. Really, is it better now? Uh, it's, I don't know, speak a little bit. Is it better now? I think it's, it's slightly better, yeah. Because, and yeah, yeah. Not it's not so good, but uh, speak, and I will tell you. No, no, it's not good. Uh, let Let's see the 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 paper when Vera will get it. Alan, you want to say something? Uh, yes, really. Um, it was just something to go back on the archives with. But since you're gonna, um, you're gonna come back to that with with Nick. Um, we could. Um, I would do that. And there's one on. There's one particular project that I wanted to suggest to you um, for the 100th anniversary, and that is um, if FIDE could encourage all federations 
to approach their postal services from now to have an 100th anniversary stamp done. Imagine what it would be if we had all federations having a, a, a FIDE. Barbados's only chest stamp was the 65th anniversary of FIDE. Um, I don't know what is the planning time frame by the postal services, but I guess there is some lead time they need, so we may still have some time where we could ask all federations to, to, to start to advocate now. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's, that's to me that's a that's real low hanging fruit. Yeah, I take a note of this. Uh, it's, it's a very it's an excellent idea to to ask national federation to oppose uh, to approach uh, post office. Yeah, and uh, and and, and really, as you know, there is a very avid um, stamp collector network up there, out there, and um, both among the chess community and the non chess community. So. Um, having interesting stamps that collectors will want will certainly be some form of revenue that every postal service will be interested in, especially in these times. Yeah, actually, I was thinking to have, uh, of course, during the exhibitions uh, uh, time, uh, to have an exhibition of chess sets and stamp, which is more easy to find uh, uh, because bring books and so on, it's, it's quite complicated, expensive. Uh, but OK, the idea is it's certainly very good. Vera, do we have uh, the paper from Beric? No? Yes, I'm going to, to show it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, really? Yeah, Tati. Yeah, I mean, good, and, um, it's a good idea by Alan. One, one way we do it in the Philippines is to have a stamp canceller. You know, we use an old chess stamp, but then we put the cancellation for the anniversary. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Bye. I take note. Okay, we can read uh, uh, the speech of uh, Beric. So he says that, uh, okay, 52 minutes to covering, uh, uh, no, four documentary of 52 minutes, minutes covering 25 years. Uh, that's great. Uh, uh, that doesn't say right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think that now we understand a bit better about uh, his project. Uh, of course, uh, we need to be to worry a bit uh, with Boris Pasky. We have a buckle of some that are not all in, in great shape, and uh, uh, starting with some interview about. Uh, let's say the life and FIDE also, connection with FIDE, world championship matches uh, uh, and so on. And you were Werbach, uh, okay, was already uh, a Soviet Chess Federation president in the 70s also. Uh, I think it would be not very difficult to find uh, actors or, or, or people talking about, uh, let's say, 70s and after. I, I'm much more worried about uh, the period, which is uh, 60s, 50s, 40s, and so on. Um, I would like to, OK, we'll make these meetings, and, and we'll have to think also, we'll, uh, we'll ask you also to go around you to find out uh, uh, where, where to get uh, some, uh, let's say, uh, a movie or interview or I know BBC has a lot of uh, material of course uh, Russian uh, or ex-Soviet media or Russian media to those days is a lot also I think there's a lot also to be found in uh, in, in Belgrad in Budapest uh, those big countries at the time uh, maybe hopefully in, in the States also uh, we could find something but uh, uh, as I explained before, uh, to get news uh, or history about FIDE, unfortunately, we can't go to one place. We have to go left and right and, and just find uh, the right place or the right people uh, to uh, to collect uh, the document. But really? here, I, yeah. Just uh, because right with the book, uh, what we I, I, 
can do it on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Budget. Yeah, but okay, your budget will will be somehow uh, let's say uh, limited, if not uh, unlim not unlimited. So uh, I think that you need, uh, of course, uh, help of uh, all those guys here around and and all the others who are not here. Uh, uh, to to help you to get uh, uh, the right place to to talk with and uh, and to get uh, what, what you're looking for, uh, but certainly uh, no, no, we uh, have to decide. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, do you think that commercialize a movie about history and, and, and chess uh, could be uh, profitable or not? Otherwise, what you will prefer uh, to go for a, a documentary uh, or to go for a, a biotic uh, gen gender uh, uh, kind of movie? Before, the idea was to make just a documentary. Say. But after what's happened this year, I think after the Queen Gambit, uh, uh, look, having in mind that we are going to finish uh, this uh, project in two years' time, that yeah. it will be worse to, uh, in three years' time to uh, watch it or uh, not. Is anyone has an opinion on this? Uh, it's okay, Bera, you can uh, switch off uh, the screen. Thank you. Is anyone has an opinion about uh, uh, a possible chess movie uh, for the anniversary of Fide? Vadim, tell us something. <laughs> well, I think, let, 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 let me take my mic. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me, Willie? Yeah, very well. Yeah, very well. Yeah. I think it's... Uh, no, no, we can. We are on the right track. We are on the right track, and no, you can. Can you? Okay, let's see. Can you repeat, please, Vadim? Yes. Can you hear me now, guys? Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes, I think we are on the right track, and the plan that uh, was uh, no is taking shape here is a uh, very uh, promising, and uh, the steps that especially Barry has outlined. They're really uh, um, something that would allow us to uh, run with this idea. But let's remember what the president also said, that the format and the uh, way we target the audience, we should keep in mind whether it's a one long movie for the history buffs or sort of a short mini series, like, you know, these clips on Instagram or on social media. I know like I am the same age as most people here, right? I detest all these short things with the, with the short attention span, but unfortunately it's the reality of the modern world that people, people uh, prefer something that's being delivered in short snippets. So maybe we can have uh, some kind of, uh, you know, short r things running for a week or a month, uh, being in 20 minute increment or even in five minute increment, and here, I think we need a, we need real help from someone uh, who is familiar with uh, all these younger set things, uh, social networks, uh, you know, uh, targeted delivery, focus groups. Uh, why don't we uh, expand on the teasers that we already had? And when the pre-production starts, we can see how we can package that, right? To keep people uh, glued to, glued to our production. Why not? Thank you, uh, Vadim. Michael, you, I didn't hear from you anything, so give us uh, some thought. Uh, the microphone, please. Uh, uh, really, can I, uh, can I just... Uh, just uh, while, go on, just one second. Uh, Michael yeah, okay. is trying to speak. My, uh, your microphone is closed, Michael. Uh, somehow we cannot. Uh... 
Now we can't hear anything. Sorry, we can hear. Okay, uh, the, go on. Uh, what Vadim said, uh, uh, that we should address somebody younger to have help or uh, uh, counseling and advice how to do this model, that would be uh, very nice. Uh, as I see from uh, the letter of uh, Beric, uh, this documentary form is easier, probably also working with uh, Yuri, with Boris and, and so and Olafsson, it could produce quite good. And I, I don't think it will not be commercial. It can be also commercial if done <laughs> go to, uh, to TV or to the larger audience. I think it, it, can, it can work like that. Mm -hmm. okay, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Oh, anything? Us? Well, what I would like to avoid that uh, this documentary, then uh, we can uh, uh, show to the delegates uh, in 2024, the delegates of the General Assembly, and that's all. This yeah. Then it will be not interesting for anyone else. Yeah, if it's documentary, that's the only way that, that to use. Uh, uh, no commercial aspect uh, there. Ian, you are there. Uh, tell us something. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, so maybe one, one strategic approach uh, is to find the, the, the proper distributor for the movie. For example, could be Eurosport or other uh, international channel. And yeah. the, together together with the distributor to, to think on the proper and more, more, most suitable uh, format of the, the movie. And of course, the format and the, uh, is to be a commercial or not a product. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, really, just, can yeah. I add something to what yeah. you said? I, I said it touched on a very important uh, thing here, also going on with the commercial thing. I was privileged to work with um, the Hollywood um, director on The Pawn Sacrifice. As some people might know, The Pawn Sacrifice. Uh, the movie about uh, Spassky, Fisher, Ricky Havik match was filmed here in Quebec. So La Fédération Québécoise des Echecs was the official uh, uh, advisor on the movie set. And we spent a lot of time understanding what Hollywood wants and how they're trying to uh, make money on this. And one of the things was that while keeping things authentic, for example, they were recreating the first Petigorsky Cup in 1960s and they had the actual uh, stationery and the sets from the hotel, but they were also doing product placement, right? And product placement is something when a company really pays producers for, uh, for, uh, for depicting their sets, which are authentic, which are uh, not archaic, which are not too modern, right? Which correspond to the epoch that we are filming. But I think this is one of the avenues, right? We might, uh, say speak to coca-cola and they we would be showing their uh vintage bottles there or we might uh you know uh when depicting max over we can uh speak to some uh, dutch uh you know uh municipality and uh, showing proper signs so the sky is the limit really it's a merchandising and tie up thing right we really need uh to work with someone who is familiar with concluding these marketing agreements with uh, different companies. Thank you. Thank you, Vadim. Uh, Amit, we didn't hear from you anything. Amit from Malaysia, very late today. Thank you to join us. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. I, I have a great interest in uh, the history of chess, of course. And it happens that uh, I'm a librarian by profession specializing in cataloging. So if there is any uh, archiving or cataloging to be done for all your projects, I am willing to offer my services for free. Thank you. you know, I'm, I'm trained to do this. Okay, okay, this is the first thing. Now in the course of uh, listening to many gentlemen, Mr. Shedler, Mr. Yon, Mr. Edward, Mr. Antunak and the FIDE president, among the topics that was discussed when we were discussing the uh, Queen's Gambit was the audience, or should I say inverted bracket, the market for chess. Mm -hmm. 
the market for chess. Who are the viewers? Who are the people who saw this? Actually, if you had, I saw this uh, Queen's Gambit and I understood while chess was the main subject, the human story made it very attractive for all the audiences to watch. There was this girl who's taking on the power of the world champion to fight for a win. You know, all this is uh, good movie tactics like uh, Vadim uh, said in production of the porn moves. We have to look at the uh, commercial aspect of these things. Okay, the third thing, the golden book project. I know really that you had uh, put in a lot of effort for the first two books. My take, this book needs to be updated. It needs to become current for two, in 2024 because this is a source of uh, reference. It is a source of history for all the records of FIDE. If it is necessary to make a second book with other things, that is okay. But the project of your golden book should continue to be updated. You are doing a service to chess not only to FIDE, but a service to chess because all the records are there. And wherever we cannot fill up the blanks, we should make an effort to try to fill this up. Now, the third thing, in your book, whoever is making these uh, archives, there must, number one, be a list of all the chess museums or the places where people can visit because uh, I don't think we have a chess museum in Lawson, do we? FIDE does not uh, have an uh, archive of such, archive house or anything like that. Moscow, fantastic. US Hall of Fame. FIDE also needs to do something for our visitors who come to visit FIDE. I think it's a project that we should start for, for 2024. A sort of a museum come archive where people can go sit down, refer, play chess, drink coffee, whatever. But a place, a place big enough for people to come and make reference. Take note that these days, with everything going digital, <coughs> all you need to look at books is probably your computer. You know, so we don't need such a huge, big space but a place where everything can be kept, some reference. I am willing to contribute to this particular project because I'm trained to archive these things. And, uh, okay, uh, the last thing, yeah. Uh, recently, uh, there was somebody who introduced me to a German movie made in 1974. The English title of this movie was black and white, like day and night. Excellent chess movie. If it is shown on TV or in a theater now, I think it'll have a very good chess audience. Metzing, can you hear me? Do you know this movie? Yeah. Metzing? Yeah. This know. is, yeah, you know, I think uh, we can learn something from this because it was a wonderful movie. I do not know the audience who saw this movie then but I found it extremely interesting. This is about a young boy who goes on to become world champion. And all the characteristics of how angry he got when he lost his chess game. He, put, he beat the opponent's hand. Wonderful movie. I think that this is something that we should uh, all look at. Yeah. And uh, finally, yeah, the last take is uh, what uh, Alan said about uh, stamps. I think we can uh, extend a little bit, uh, Willy, in this particular project where we should write to all the federations that if there is any historical items that uh, uh, is, uh, belongs to FIDE or whatever, and if they wish to donate it to FIDE, we should be open uh, to receiving these things. Because recently when uh, Dato Tan uh, passed away, there was a huge collection of books which he wanted to donate. And he had written a note that he wants to give this to FIDE. Well, we can uh, start acquiring these things and uh, archiving these things. If we have a library, we can put uh, Atatan collection, Karpov collection, Kasparov collection, whatever. 
whoever donates, we just put their names there. And it becomes a source of reference. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Amit. Uh, Thank you. Uvencio, you are also a veteran in feeding. Tell us a few words. Vencio, you cannot hear me? Yes, yes. No, you cannot. Uh, Paulina, you're also a veteran like us. Mm. Paulina, uh, your microphone. Yes. Voilà. Actually, that's what I said in the beginning that uh, I'm feeling uh, really as a relic myself. But it was a pleasure to be present here today and I joined uh, this meeting and I have uh, listened to all the discussions uh, with uh, great pleasure and all the ideas are brilliant. And uh, I'm sure uh, the bulk of the committee members also is uh, very um, up, apt and able to follow all the directions. And I'm sure they will distribute the activities between themselves and so that there will be, you know, different uh, aspects from which they, points of view from which they're looking at the things and the preparation. And I just want to say that from my, more actually, I was about to write an email to Willie that in case you need some secretarial support or administrative support or whatever, I will be always very happy to contribute to the work of this committee. That's why actually I expressed an interest in this because I think it's a very important um, aspect, uh, <coughs> the heritage of FIDE and the chess uh, movement and uh, chess life. Of course, they are so intertwined, uh, so connected to each other. That's what uh, Goran was saying uh, also and uh, many others. So I think that all of us understand and <coughs> join in this uh, understanding that uh, historic committee should be one of the key uh, committees and uh, it should enjoy the help of all the other bodies of FIDE or <coughs> continental assemblies. I see Lewis here, for example, and I'm sure it uh, will be some joint uh, success story, especially when you have all these new technologies and you see such uh, brilliant ideas at this interactive museum or series of documentaries, what, uh, whatever Beric has mentioned and uh, other colleagues here. So I wish everybody good luck and uh, I am sure that uh, uh, the future and the progress will be very constant uh, and uh, step by step uh, we will jo join in uh, reaching the ideas and uh, all the goals and projects which have been mentioned today and I look forward to the next uh, meeting to the next phase and step in the activity. Okay, and it was nice to see your old friends and uh, everybody here. Thank you, Paulina. Anyone to uh, yeah. want to say something about uh, the movie project, Alan? Huh? Alan, you want to say anyone want to say something? No, no, um, no. Just with Lita to follow up Hamid's um, point there. Um, if you're going to do a movie, um, the story is what is important. The story you're going to tell for that movie that grips the audience. So you know whether it's searching for Body Fisher, the Queen's Gambit. Yes, chess was a was an integral part of what it was, but what attracted the audience and then what got people interested in both cases was it was kids, young people um, trying to fulfill their ambition. Um, and, but it was real human side of 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 the sport. And it could have been any sport. It could have been soccer, you know, wanting to become Maradona. It could have been any sport, but it was the human side. However, for the story of Fide, I think that's better suited to a documentary, which, ha you know, which, which has, its, has its place, but it's not going to have the same commercial type of success as a movie. And, and, I, and, and I think that's what Fide president was saying. We have to be very clear about what our aim is and our audience. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Jean Michel. Micro. Microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, you wanted to. Uh, you want me? It's okay, Willy? It's okay, but not, not about uh, uh, what you sent me, just about these discussions about movie and books. Uh, anything to say? 
Yeah, listen, um, I published, uh, you remember the Gallimard Découverte in 1997 with uh, Gallimard, huh, which is the main, uh, most important and famous uh, French editor. And uh, it was uh, for the grand public. Uh, the, first, uh, uh, the first time uh, uh, we sold uh, 10,000 uh, copies. Then the second edition, then the third edition. And uh, in all the book, uh, I, have, uh, I have it there, huh? uh, if you know it. And in all the book, uh, from the beginning to nowadays, uh, there is no technical word. There is no, nothing about chess technically. Uh, that means it's a book uh, who can be read by um, any, anybody, I would say. And at the end, uh, I don't know, but... Uh, Uh, we sold many, uh, maybe uh, 25,000 uh, copies, uh, and uh, uh, all the history of chess is written in it. Uh, and more, moreover, my studies were uh, uh, very, very deep uh, about the origin of chess. And uh, because, uh, as, as you said, uh, as someone said, uh, uh, we know everything uh, since uh, 500 years uh, in chess. Okay, that is the point of books. That means uh, it's possible to make uh, a book of chess and to, sell, and to sell many copies. That's an important point. Also, uh, Fide should know that uh, I recover the, uh, the rights of uh, the book. That means uh, all the story is already written. Uh, you we just have to adjust it because uh, from 1997 uh, to nowadays, uh, And uh, just to translate uh, and send copies uh, everywhere in the world. Uh, that's a, a point. Another point is uh, my position concerning the books uh, for the uh, for nine, uh, 2024 and FIDE. I think two books uh, should be done. And uh, also, you can uh, we can begin with a FIDE to attract uh, people uh, and people who don't know precisely chess. Uh, what it is, but uh, we could be at fault because if I remember well, uh, I took some, some notes. Uh, there are uh, four main figures in 1924. Uh, the first one uh, naturally is uh, Pierre Vincent, who was the secretary, the general secretary of uh, French Federation. And uh, this one is uh, uh, the incarnation, I would say, of chess and humanism. Then you have Alexander Alekin, Uh, at the first tournament, at that precise moment in Paris. Uh, and uh, Anakin, for sure, is a uh, chess at the top level. Then you have Marcel Duchamp, who played the, this famous uh, tournament uh, during the Congress of Paris. And uh, Marcel Duchamp is a chess and art. And uh, then you have Alexandre Rube, who is, uh, uh, up to me, uh, chess and pacifism. And he was a lawyer an advocate, and that's why he was elected, I guess, uh, 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 the first president of FIDE, because it was a need at that time uh, to have uh, such a kind of people. Uh, with, um, it was uh, the beginning of uh, our universal language, uh, and uh, it's a pleasure to celebrate today the humanism and the views of the uh, philosophers of the 18th uh, century. And you know, really, I guess, uh, that. Uh, For me, it's uh, the main point maybe of all my studies about chess uh, to find uh, uh, that use uh, of uh, what, what we can do with chess. Because with Gallimard, my point of view, my, st my starting point was precisely to write uh, the, the, great, the great history of humanism and in parallel, the short, our small history of chess. And they are linked during 15 or more centuries before the creation of the modern uh, of the of the game uh, because uh, the chessboard uh, is uh, much more antique and has a uh, much more signification that means also uh, we have to forget our cartesian spirit mind mm -hmm. we have to be very open to understand what happened and why uh, chess is uh, such a game uh, so different uh, than others But uh, uh, we, have, we need uh, more time, uh, Sean, to, to discuss about it. So that's my point uh, concerning the books. 
I guess two books, uh, as someone said, uh, should be very interesting. One to celebrate, uh, to offer for marketing, for sponsors, uh, about the history of FIDE, or to sell uh, a few copies. And a global book uh, uh, for uh, counting the, the, the whole chess history, which mm -hmm. will be absolutely amazing. Because we can connect it with uh, everything. I made uh, uh, 2,250 50 conferences in my life uh, and about all subjects, uh, about chess and uh, in form, uh, computers, about uh, uh, chess and culture, chess and art. I was in uh, the last one, uh, was in the uh, Musée Suisse du Jeu with Eric Chadler in 2016. Uh, 16. So we can, uh, and Georges Bertola also was there and Bachar Kwatli. So uh, we have to be open uh, to go uh, the chess world has to go to the grand public. Like uh, the movie Netflix uh, has used uh, chess uh, to, to count a story, but uh, very uh, accessible for everybody, I would say, in the world. And we can uh, verify it today. Okay, that's uh, my view concerning the books. On another part, uh, and uh, please uh, note uh, the link uh, between France and Russia is very strong. Uh, since the beginning of uh, FIDE, with the presence of uh, Vincent Alekin. And uh, I, could I think it, it should be a starting point also for the book of FIDE. Then uh, to universalism. Concerning uh, the, the movie, the film, uh, the documentary of uh, the idea of Berwick, I do agree, absolutely. During the French uh, chess championship in 1999, uh, visited by uh, Kasparov and Karpov. I organized also uh, a festival of uh, uh, movies of chess with Podovkin, with uh, La Diagonale du Fou, uh, with uh, other things. And it was uh, free. It was accessible uh, for every, every player, every kind of players. There were 1,000 players playing in Besançon at that time, the French championship, but also, Many people came to see the movies. They did not play uh, chess. We did not know even the rules. So I think uh, uh, all we can do to attract new viewers of chess, new lovers of chess, uh, even, even if they don't want to, to play in clubs, they don't want to be members of FIDE officially, but we want to play. Uh, uh, it's important for us to attract nowadays uh, the, the millions, I would say, uh, of uh, chess players who don't play in clubs. Um, I published in Europe Echec uh, recently a statistic uh, which is uh, very amazing. Uh, how many players uh, have played uh, an official game last year? Please check it and you will have the, your, uh, all, all your answers. Then uh, another point is, uh, okay, we leave for you. Uh, uh, we are short of time. Uh, okay. uh, do you mind if I, I cut a little bit uh, because we are, we are supposed to finish at five, okay. it's already six. Just, uh, just that, a few words, uh, Willy, yeah. to finish. And uh, please, yeah. uh, thank you for your attentions all. Because, uh, you know, I'm investing, uh, investigate uh, chess since uh, now uh, 1994, uh, really. And uh, it seems that uh, I'm living now in Valencia, by España, Spain. And uh, it seems that uh, with our recent investigation, we have finally found who were the models of the queen and the bishop of the Renaissance. We can name these people. And uh, we are continuing to our investigation. And we are in the process to create a chess museum uh, with Anatoly Karpov. Uh, the project has been signed uh, between uh, Karpov uh, and the mayor of the city. It's uh, the castle of Alacuas. If you can show a photo, yeah. Billy. Be Bera, Bera, I think I send you this. Uh, if you can show the picture mm -hmm. of uh, yeah, Michel. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Bella. And it's very important because uh, it was up to me, it was uh, the main enigma uh, still uh, uh, in our world. And uh, I can tell you, we are very, uh, we, we went very deeply because if you notice it, uh, it's, a, it's a figurative chessboard with eight, uh, uh, this, this was a book of Gallimard at that time, but please 
go back to the castle, uh, please, uh, Bera. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this is our castle. It's uh, absolutely uh, fantastic, uh, very amazing. Uh, and uh, the woman who designed uh, the plans of the, that castle uh, at the early beginning of the uh, end of um, uh, 1492, uh, the woman was the most powerful in uh, Valencia there. Uh, she was from a family of uh, Italia, of Pizza, of, uh, and very interesting. And the Alfil, uh, which is uh, his heir, uh, his successor, uh, was a, a lawyer. And don't forget that uh, in uh, Jacob, Jacques de Cessolis, uh, the morality of Jacques de Cessolis, uh, the, the bishop, uh, we call it a bishop in English, but fou in French, uh, and uh, Alfil uh, in Spain, uh, was an Alfil, uh, was a lawyer. Uh, we are still investigating. Uh, uh, Karpov uh, has found it uh, very fascinating. Uh, and sure, we need, uh, we need the help of uh, FIDE uh, to complete uh, this project because there is no money in that uh, city. They have a big date and the situation is very bad in, uh, in Spain. And uh, uh, if uh, FIDE, the, the Jensen Asumu's philosophy of FIDE is to, 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 to use this. This is a, 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 pure, a pure element of our glorious history. And it's a pleasure to present it to you. I invite uh, everybody and uh, Vladimir Linder, huh? you remember, uh, I remember very well your father. Uh, I discussed with uh, Yuri Averbach, uh, who went at home uh, with yourself, Willy, and uh, very, Yuri Averbach was talking about the, uh, the manuscript of uh, Vicent uh, of Segorbe. Uh, sure, everything <coughs> is right. uh, we ask, we, uh, with uh, such a castle, we are connected with uh, Borgia, the family Borgia. Uh, with uh, all the power of uh, of the the end of the 15 uh, 15th centuries so 15th century so it's uh, really fascinating and uh, for me uh, i would say this is the end of my uh, long uh, large and fabulous uh, epopee in the chessboard uh, from the beginning of my study uh, at the, the beginning of uh, the end of uh, nine, uh, at uh, 1994. So now it's, it is in your hands uh, because I always thought that uh, uh, chess belongs to anybody on, or not to anybody. Chess is a universal language uh, and uh, we can uh, use uh, this castle, this story, everybody, everybody can use it. We just have, uh, I, I guess, FIDE should help uh, uh, because it's a project already very concrete. So. And uh, I saw the idea of the museum, uh, uh, interactive museum. Uh, the place is absolutely fantastic for that. Definitely. So uh, please, uh, if you want really, I can write a, a concrete report uh, concerning our investigation, uh, the evidence. We can forget uh, definitely the idea of uh, Isabella la Catolica and that investigation, because uh, uh, before investigating uh, our hypothesis, we have uh, first investigate the former hypothesis. And uh, they, we have found various uh, serious problems. Uh, that means uh, the former one with Isabella la Catolica and uh, even uh, with the free poets is not very serious. Uh, alas, uh, so now we can go on a clear idea from the early beginning, uh, the chessboard, uh, which was Vashtu Purusha Mandala, if I correct, to nowadays, Carlsen, uh, Netflix, Chess Online, uh, and we can explain uh, to the grand public uh, what is our lovely uh, sport, uh, uh, art and uh, science, uh, as uh, Karpov has said. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Jean Michel. Uh, I would like, uh, before we finish, to give the floor to Nick. Uh, Nick, um, could you tell us? Uh, you asked some questions before, but now it's maybe time to, to answer your. I mean, what was the question again? 
Um, right, uh, thank you. Um, from QC's position, yeah. um, we are more interested in semi-recent history. Um, we are giving titles somewhat based on results before 2001 and all of FIDE's history before 2001 in terms of raw data, um, Olympiad's ratings, is lost. Um, fortunately, it is preserved in Olymp base. Um, first of all, I would like to ask, do you have any contact with Olymp base? Because I worry every day that if they disappeared, our data would disappear with them. Uh, no, unfortunately. But as I said, uh, uh, I have a 200 box uh, uh, from FIDE archive to, to, to open. It's possible that we still have some tournaments report uh, uh, over there. Uh, I will say after 2000, probably at least there is some material. But before that, I should check in the box, uh, maybe have some report, but certainly not, uh, I will say maybe from the 90s uh, uh, and, and afterward, nothing before. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the, um, all they have done is very simple. They have copied FIDE's information, and unlike FIDE, they did not lose it. Um, uh, now, I'm a newcomer to FIDE. I became involved in 2006, and at that time, there were rumors of a treasure trove of information that was somehow stuck in The Hague, um, yeah, it, correct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I should contact David Jarrett, uh, who was the, the treasurer who, who sent the... Uh, but as far as I remember, it was only duplicate material. Uh, but actually, I, I should ask him to, to get maybe if he can find out mm -hmm. the list. Otherwise, I will contact the museum, I mean, the, the library myself, uh, to find out what, I, what they If I may say something. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let let finish, uh, Luke. Yeah, Mr. Fox. Yeah. yeah yes, Mr. please. Fox. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I, wanted, oh, okay. I wanted to say that I agree with Mr. Fox. The website the Olympic Base is an absolutely beautiful uh, website with all the results of team events, Olympi all Olympiads, and continental championships. We saved all this, and it should be protected by FIDE at least. I think really should help them. Yeah, to keep their the, the only thing about this website, I know it was uh, uh, belonged to the, maybe Mr. Filipovic uh, can say something about that. Uh, the Olymp base uh, website, what's happened to this website? Who's the owner of this? I think it was the mayor of one district of uh, Warsaw, no? Or you don't know? Olymp Bas. It was a, a website with all kind of information about Chess Olympia and other tournaments, team tournaments. We, we cannot hear you. Olympiad base is uh, in internet. Yeah, yeah, but you, you know what's happened to this website? Do you know what's happened to the owner? Uh, you know, I don't know. I know him, of course, but I have no contact with him. Yeah. So it's okay. difficult to say me what he made, everything. Uh, it looks and that uh, there's maybe some interest. Uh, if this gentleman is not willing to keep alive uh, his website, that to take it over. Uh, uh, I didn't see this website long time. So it's difficult to say me anything. Okay. okay. But yes. no, the, the, they have done a fantastic amount of work. The yeah. 2018 Olympiad is not there yet which is not a good sign, but, no. but really we, we must not lose it. Um, and another good source is, um, again, very basic, um, simply for data, uh, Informata. Um, I, I sometimes wish I had access to that, but I don't have a full set. Does FIDE have a full set? A set of what, sorry? Uh, the uh, the Yugoslav magazine um, books, the Informata. Uh, no, we don't. Have, uh, um, again, if you go, if you want to find out about the 
70s, 80s, 90s. There's a lot there. Um, and finally, um, something dear to my heart is uh, the late um, Miko Markula. Um, had we believe and a wonderful selection of papers um, when he died um, unexpectedly and sadly far too early um, I wrote uh, to his son and I did so again uh, well I wrote immediately to his son saying I was very sorry etc and he said that he would sort out his father's papers well, of course, that was far too difficult. Um, since then, we had volunteers. Uh, uh, we, had, we had volunteers who would go to Finland at their own expense to look through his papers. But this we to happen. Ale bardzo dziękuję. Um, but it, uh, I'll continue. Uh, we, it did seem that whenever I was at a meeting with um, Miko, and I suspect others will verify this, when we had a question, he would say, "Oh, when I would, when I go home, I'll look at my papers and discover the answer." And he always did. So there was a lot there, but perhaps it's now lost. I don't know. No, but uh, I, I will certainly make a note to contact uh, the family uh, 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 and find out uh, if we can uh, recover this material. Yeah. Willy, uh, yeah. if you know me, uh, just a point. You know that uh, at that time at, uh, with uh, François Chevaldonnet, uh, we made a huge uh, collection of uh, photography uh, with a professional. Uh, he was also a photo. Uh, uh, a professional photographer at that time. And uh, we have uh, nearly uh, 7,000 uh, or 8,000 photos in, uh, with diapositive. I still have the diapositive with authorization. At that time, uh, nobody was interested in that. Uh, so the museum allowed me uh, and uh, Francois to uh, collect uh, chess collectors and uh, all you want. Uh, for example, we have uh, all the main uh, books, uh, the complete uh, collection of Men Menra, Jean, Jean Menra. Mm. That means uh, all the most important books uh, in first edition, all the most uh, important reviews uh, in any language in, in first edition, all the players of uh, historical players, uh, women, uh, everything. Uh, so you know it, uh, it's in my computer. Uh, uh, it's uh, we were looking. You, we are looking for resources for content uh, for a museum online. I can tell you, I have all of it uh, already done in my uh, computer, on text, on uh, from the original uh, text. I also did a facsimile of uh, Jacopo de Cesolis in French, adapted. Uh, it's not very difficult. Uh, the, the most difficult is not to. To, to find the resources, the content. Uh, Georges Bertola uh, uh, has uh, all the books uh, you want, uh, you need. Yeah. Uh, the most important is to, to make the first move now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You understand what I mean? We I need, understand uh, a bit. Yeah, 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 sure. So <laughs> we, have to, we have to make the first move. That's why in uh, Alacuas for the moment and the and this castle, we want to begin uh, small, very small because uh, there is a, uh, a situation like this, but uh, we are looking nowadays, I asked to Adatoli Karpov if he could help uh, with Coca-Cola as a sponsor, as main sponsor. Uh, we want to do it online too. If we can link uh, our two projects, it should be great because uh, the castle, uh, I wish you will uh, be able to, to visit it uh, uh, soon or once. Because of pandemic, everything is uh, uh, in the air. But uh, the castle really, really uh, is very fascinating, and I was really thrilled uh, when I came there. It was a strange, very, very strange feeling, and uh, all the investigation, investigation is confirming that uh, here we are finally. Uh, uh, 
this woman was Margarita de las Velez in Jack Mott de Aguilar. Now we know the models. So Fide has, uh, has to be proud, I would say, of uh, that. And uh, you know my love of chess huh, since the beginning. And uh, now I did my job. And uh, all of us, all of uh, you, uh, have, have uh, really to, to make the first move now. Because uh, there is, uh, uh, the public uh, uh, needs chess now. Thank you, Jean-Michel. Alan. Yes, really. So this is where I wanted to come back. And actually, Nick hit on the point that I wanted to do that that Olymp Bay site is a very valuable site. And um, I think I, I know I've seen on that site, the guy did it as a labor of love. He wasn't paid to do it. He did it just as a totally voluntary. But he reached a point where I saw he, he had the ability where you can donate. Um, and I remember seeing a notice where he was saying, well, listen, look, I'm not able to keep up. And uh, my fear is that if that site disappears, um, you're going to lose a lot, lot. And I think the I think FIDE needs to engage with him to see how we can um, preserve the site or, or, or transfer the responsibility um, to keep it to bring it up to date and so forth. I, I personally use it a lot um, for 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 my own federation. The second one that is becoming, huh? that is going it's to emerge all, similar to this is that. going to be chessresults.com because as more and more Olympiads are done <clears> on chessresults.com, <throat> the days of the paper bulletins. So I have bulletins for all the Olympiads I went to when they used to produce the paper bulletin. Um, and and chessresults.com is now starting to evolve in collecting um, for the newer ones. So I, I would strongly recommend from the historical committee, we need to, we need to look at that and, and move fairly swiftly on that. In terms of um, David Jarrett, I would strongly really suggest we reach out to him. David has a phenomenal amount of institutional knowledge because of the sheer time he was an officer within the organization. And David is the one who would have managed the shut down of the Lausanne office when it moved to Athens. And he had to make some decisions as to what to discard. And I believe, um, I, be I believe the, uh, a lot of the archival information, David felt, well, the best way to preserve that, I think it was sent, um, as, as Nick said, to the Hague. Um, but I think a conversation with David will be able to clarify, okay, what actually went where when the Lausanne office was closed. Um, and then David himself is an avid collector. So he has a fantastic collection. And like all of us, as every year goes by, he's not getting younger. And I would hate to see us um, lose the opportunity to, to preserve his collection, um, like the situation we now have with, with Markula. Because besides those papers Nick is referring to, Markula was an avid photographer. And he's, he probably had a fantastic photography collection. And the only other person I know of is Toti, who we know right now is at the doctors <laughs> trying to attend from here. Toti, has a, Toti probably has a very fantastic collection of photos from all kinds of FIDE events um, stretching yeah. many years. And I wouldn't like us to, I wouldn't like us to lose that um, if something unexpected would happen. The final thing I, I wanted to say that I think is also important um, is that we take steps now. So the water is under the bridge. What we can recover, we can recover. But I think the FIDE website can become a critical part or an area in the FIDE website. One of the things I would love to see is a Hall of Champions on the FIDE website where every year each federation is required to report a photo. Who is their national champion? You know, it doesn't have to be two things. Just as we have the directory where we say, who's the president, who's this, who's that. And over time, you would get photos of players, not only the, the great famous players, but we need to as well spread so that even the small federations like my own, many of our players, um, they like to see themselves and, and the, the, the ability to have our national champions and all the national champions around the world. Um, being listed there, um, where you can go back at any time to do, I think would be a great thing. 
um, that we could start to now build that archive because as you dig deeper down, yes, there's FIDE at the top, but then as you, as you go below the iceberg where all the federations are, the history is, is many times because many of the organizations are, many of the federations are voluntary. The history is scattered in the homes of many former officers over the years. Yeah. Um, and there's no one place to find it. And, and interesting stuff as well um, at that national level. So I, those were just the quick points. I think Olymp base, it would be a tragedy if we ever lose that. I think we should try our best to preserve it and, and reach out to them. Um, David Jarrett, touch base with him and see, see what you, I think he would be a, a tremendous um, add-on to this committee um, in yeah. terms of institutional knowledge. Um, I think really the only other person I know that may have more institutional as much as him would be yourself and Toti. Yeah. Uh, only because I came and found you guys already in FIDE. Yeah. No, no, but uh, uh, I've, I, I contacted uh, David. Unfortunately, he could not make it uh, uh, today. Uh, but I will definitely ask him uh, uh, to join at least for the next meeting and to let me know uh, what he sent to the, the Dutch uh, uh, library. Uh, and uh, and find more about uh, uh, let's say corporations and at least try to secure also uh, his materials uh, uh, one way or the other uh, uh, for that. Just uh, to to mention that uh, uh, I've I will share my screen uh, here one second. Uh, uh, voilà. Uh, what if, can you see my screen? Yeah. We see the world champions. Well, uh, I'll put this there. Okay, I have a website which uh, called thechesspedia.net, uh, where where you have uh, there uh, thousands. I don't know, three thousand or four thousand biography of people. I did this website, let's say, for myself with the idea one day uh, I, I will put it uh, uh, or give it to Fide or. But uh, you, you have uh, all kind of this information that you, you were uh, uh, asking, including uh, every day, if you go there, you have a calendar when you see a uh, birth of the people, death of the people, what the chess event was organized that day, world event, nothing to do with chess, but, and also, if possible, one, one game of that day. And, and there's a sections about uh, uh, FIDE archive, and there are sections about biography, glossary, and, and many sections there. This site is not known, but I invite you to, to go there when you have time uh, and to look around and you will find out that it's very easy to find out, uh, let's say who won uh, uh, tournaments. Uh, there's, uh, uh, how to say, uh, um, uh, you call palmares. I mean, it's a detail about winner of uh, of all kind of tournaments uh, organized by FIDE and not organized by FIDE. If you call, if you click here, uh, the website it's a bit slow. Yeah. Uh, okay. If you take uh, London, for instance, uh, you will get uh, um, every winner of tournaments uh, or organized in London. If you go to, uh, uh, I would say. Uh, Denmark, you can find uh, all the champions from Denmark. If you go to uh, something interesting, which is uh, related to, okay, I think I, I put already part of my book, uh, Chronology. Uh, you will find all the, uh, no, it's not that. Uh, but uh, you have a calendar per day, as we see. You, we have a calendar per year also. Uh, and if you click to, okay, 2014, let's say, it's not finished, huh? uh, there are many things finished. You will get month by month by month, uh, winner of all the tournaments or major tournaments uh, at that date uh, uh, in every country. And there's something which is, I think is very nice, which is related to world championship match. Uh, let's click on this. Uh, voilà, you click, not all of them are there, but let, let's talk the first one. Uh, Steinitz uh, Zuckertot, uh, 1986. So what what I did there, uh, I I went to spend a lot of time to those uh, library, and I I I, I 
copy the article made by some those newspaper or, or those chess magazine at that time and commentary by the the um, uh, by the authors or, or by the persons involved, organizer or world champion. Uh, here, for instance, is the letter uh, of acceptance uh, uh, written by Zuckertort uh, when he accepted to play uh, Steinitz. And, and it's very interesting. If you go uh, to, um, uh, of course, uh, Fischer, uh, you will find uh, Fischer's Pesky match uh, here. You will find all the chronology using uh, existing material. Uh, what I did, I, I just, uh, uh, okay, letter from USCF uh, about Bobby Fischer, and, and then uh, uh, about uh, the interzonal, uh, and what Larsen says about it, what uh, Petrosian says at that time of the tournament, and so on, and you go next page, and, and you find all the history of this world championship before, and during, and even after, uh, until uh, uh, 1974. So there's a lot of things that uh, are existing already uh, that I, I did for the last 30 years, collecting here, going there, copy, passing, uh, scanning, uh, and a lot of things still to do. But uh, end of the day, I hope that this website will be a kind of reference and, and I will give it away uh, to uh, a fee day for, for the future. Uh, uh, just fans, just lovers who would like to know uh, uh, about that that uh, competitions, that period, who who is whom, uh, and there's a lot of biography and so on. Just quotes, also just fact. Uh, uh, gallery not yet there, but slowly, slowly, when I have time, I, I, I build uh, uh, this kind of thing. So, uh, just to mention that things are going going. Uh, slowly, but going, and uh, hopefully uh, things will be ready uh, by uh, 24 uh, by all of us to make, uh, um, uh, let's say, something uh, for the future and also for the present generation, at least to educate them, uh, to tell them uh, where, who is who and where is there and what's happened uh, when it's happened. Uh, well, so uh, Nick, do you want to say something else? Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, right, sorry. Uh, no, I think you've covered everything. Okay, uh, very well. The, um, the, there are all sorts of sources, if we can find them. Um, and um, Olymp Base must not be lost. Yeah, just to say that, okay, uh, as I explained, there are some private collector or private uh, uh, historian who have a lot of, lot of material. Sometimes it's lying on, on, on the shelf or, or, or in some rooms. And I remember I, I had the pleasure to visit a couple of times the Lothar Schmidt, who was one of the big collector, chess collector, uh, and he was telling me, I really, I have really a problem. When I was asking something, I said, I think I get it, but I've got it, but I'm not sure where it is and so on. We should uh, certainly, uh, uh, let's say, uh, try to uh, locate the material, make a huge list of what is and where it is, and then start to 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 do uh, uh, projects like books, uh, like movies, like uh, museums, and like everything that you an archive also. Uh, hopefully today we have uh, we have digital digital uh, uh, technology at disposal and and we should use this uh, uh, as soon as possible before the people uh, will disappear or before the material will, will be forgotten. Uh, I think this is this is very important. Uh, before to finish the meetings, I've got Frank who's back. Uh, I was uh, uh, trying to get him before. Uh, Frank has uh, written a book about. Uh, 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 about the Belgium Chess History. Uh, uh, Belgium Chess Federation will celebrate the 100th year uh, uh, in a couple of days. Uh, Frank, maybe you can tell us about these books, uh, how you manage to find the information, because this is a problem also, where to get the information. Yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you, Lily. I, I hope everybody can, can hear me. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, as a newcomer in this, in this round, um, 
sourcing is always uh, depending on, on on libraries. So luckily for for Belgian uh, developments, uh, I was granted access to a very huge library of uh, Bernard de Broeke, who has a full full house uh, with with all the the relevant material. But uh, I I wanted to to bring one one question to you because I'm a newcomer in this round. Uh, for 2024, uh, I understand one of the projects would be a serious research project for for really people who 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 want to see the fruits of international collaboration, bringing something something uh, valid. Uh, so I, I don't know how you plan this, but um, I would suggest that at some stage one should have some sort of a, of a concept paper, a little bit more concrete, like, like the one from, from our creation colleague, which I read with great interest. Um, and then maybe we could identify certain periods of the last hundred years and then say, okay, here, here we do some basic facts, good photos and representative information and maybe some new insights and then identify uh, relevant researchers who could uh, who could do that uh, because I, I i think to 2024 sounds very far away but at the same time it's around the corner yeah you're frozen looks a problem there yeah uh, actually concept what is paper it? identifying oh. the relevant periods and probable authors who are interested uh, to to bring the way forward, it's just a, an idea I would like to share with all of you. Thank you. Yeah, as I said, uh, uh, I will call for a meeting before March, uh, discuss uh, all those projects, and not only project uh, of books and film, but also about which kind of uh, activity we should uh, uh, generate uh, during this uh, two or three months period. As far as I remember, the, pre the president says that he, he wished to have let's say, multiple and worldwide, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, celebration. So we certainly uh, have a lot of uh, to think and, and to, to, means to write a paper and to provide this to him and to the uh, uh, council who will allow located money, budget, and so on for, for these kind of activities. But as, as you are right, uh, it's a professional job and, and we need uh, really uh, uh, people who has experience, people who know where, is, where to find, and people of course who wish to collaborate uh, uh, to the uh, uh, even of uh, 24. Now, before we, we finish, I just would like to ask if anyone has something to say. Uh, yeah, uh, Edouard. First. I am greatly appreciate you for this meeting. You know, these two hours very quickly over. It's, I will not feel how it's happened. And uh, you, you did very, very great this meeting. I, I'm, I'm absolutely have a opinion. It's one of the best meeting what I, what I, where I participate. You have a great team around you. You have many, many very serious and interesting people with, with knowledge, with uh, special chess knowledge. And uh, this is very important, who want to work together with you. You really have great team. Around you, you see people who will help to, to, to make, provide this super big project about uh, phenomenal future history chess book. I'm, I'm absolutely sure it is possible. About documentary movie, this is most in hand of president and, and his team. And uh, for example, president and his team uh, need find money for to provide all what you will with your team create. Uh, take example, uh, Mr. Rockefeller, Donate three million dollars to United Chess Federation. In the world, many, many rich people who love chess, who like chess, who remember chess when they was young kids, teenagers, and they played chess and they forgot this time. But but they love chess. They still to have interest to chess. It's not big big problem to find money. 
it's a big problem to find people who know how to to find money. For example, I work with two kids. I'm a chess teacher of two kids. His uh, uh, parents of these kids, they they billionaires. They live in Boston in USA. If, uh, for example, FIDE with uh, right people will go and ask about donation, it can be for me, I, I, I feel how it will be success for money because I hear for everyone need money, for movie need money, for museum need money, for books need money. And this is, this is a problem, but right people have find right way to success. One more time, I'm personal, greatly appreciate you for this meeting. You have good team for to provide any of your plans and uh, maybe uh, president and his team will understand this this commission or, or committee does not matter not less important than all other com com committee or commission in fide and my opinion is much more important because without past not will be future and and uh, you on right place and uh, i i uh, uh, wish you success to you and to your team Thank you, Edouard. So I will keep your word for uh, for the closing speech, uh, and and I would like to thank all of you uh, to have spent uh, more than three hours uh, uh, with me and with all our colleagues from the committee. Uh, uh, well, chess and history is something that uh, 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 really took part a big part of my life. Uh, it's not some. It's not easy because sometimes it's not for the young generation. It's very difficult to understand uh, uh, why you should spend so much time for this and for that. But uh, I still, I'm still very glad to see that I'm not the only one who, who love uh, this this uh, uh, history, uh, just history. And uh, uh, I'm very thankful to all of you to to share uh, this meeting. Uh, just to recap that. Uh, I will ask Mr. Abundo to provide uh, the minutes and, and uh, I wish him good health also. Uh, and also that uh, uh, I will call for another meetings uh, uh, before the end of March uh, to, to discuss concrete plan of what we have discussed today and concrete actions also uh, to write a paper uh, as good as uh, um, uh, Goran has done to, uh, uh, the other day. And then to go and fight, because this is also something, and fight uh, to the, the council with the help of uh, Vadim, uh, to fight to the council to, to get uh, uh, a positive answer and to start uh, all of us uh, to make something uh, uh, that people will remember uh, in 2024. Thank you so much to all of you. I wish you good health, happy new year, happy uh, Christmas, uh, stay in good health, and see you very soon uh, uh, next year with good Thank you. spirit. Thank you, really. Thank you, really. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 For your excellent Bye. Thank you. All Thank the best. You. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.